Then we walk through the Prometric SE Part 1 Index. I am sure you are aware of that website and all. Then I gave you the breakup of EA Part 1 examination questions. Examination will have 100 questions of which 85 questions will be valued and 15 will be experimental. And then we learned about PTI and application and those who have still not applied for PTI and please remember that for writing the examination you need preparer tax identification number which Mudduga the acronym is PTIN. So get the KM team's help, knowledge management team's help in getting that PTIN because it will take like three or four weeks also and uh, sometimes you may get very quickly too. Then you should also connect with the KM team on scheduling the examination with the Prometric Center. The examination must be taken in a Prometric Center. So people who are watching us uh, outside of Hyderabad, please check now that the Corona rules are also being relaxed. We still do not have any updates on where the examination will be held. But uh, please stay connected with the KM team. Then the best part of this examination is that you get the passing scores immediately. Immediately. No waiting period. Okay. And the passing score will be from 105 to 130. Now for 85 questions. Assuming you answer all 85 questions right, then you get 130 marks. So for you to get that basic 105 marks, you have to answer at least 70 questions right. Then all that we suggest you to do is bank on the class notes because we give the best of the class notes, best notes on the individual taxation for the enrolled agent examination. This is the best notes somebody can give and we have the best MCQs in place. And above us, if there's anything that you still want to refer to, there's only one material that is IRS publication 17. But for you to pass the examination, our material, the class notes and the MCQs are more than, more than, more than enough. Having said that, we get into the section 1, page 1 of form 1040 overview. Okay. Now, in this, we cover chapters by chapter. Each section will have some chapters. And here is the first chapter that we did. USA topography is what we did. And in USA topography, we learned about the state abbreviations. We learned about the state abbreviations, 50 plus 2 states. Then we learned about the tax free states. There are nine tax free states, right? Fast. NW is the acronym that we gave. What is FAST NW? Florida, Alaska, South Dakota, and then TNW twice. Tennessee, Texas, Nevada, New Hampshire, Washington, and then Wyoming. Then state subject to city taxes. What are the states that are subject to city taxes? KMNOP, Kentucky, Michigan, New York, Ohio, and then Pennsylvania. Then states subject to County taxes. Here we came up with the acronym IIM. Indiana, Iowa, and then Maryland. Then we went on to learn the time zone map. We understood that there are six time zones in the US, right? Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern, and then you have the two islands, Alaska and then Hawaii. That was on topography. Then we went on to learn the accounting periods and accounting methods. Just go back and just take a look at your US topography notes once. Okay. Then we went on to learn accounting periods and then accounting methods. Now, in the accounting periods, we looked at these two types of years. Now, what is an accounting period? It is basically the tax year and tax year are of two types. Calendar year and then you have fiscal Year. Now, calendar year is something that begins on Jan 1st and ends on December 31st. But fiscal year is something that does not end, that does not end on December 31st. Then the types of accounting methods, there are two types of accounting methods. One is cash method, the other one is accrual method. Now, in the accounting methods, we wrote that table. That table is very important. Okay, income expenses right cash and then accrual in case of cash method income is recognized only when it is received and expense is recognized only when it is paid now in case of accrual income is recognized 
only when it is earned and expenses are realized only when it is incurred. Then we went on to learn about the constructive receipt of income. We understood the meaning, we understood the examples, debt cancellation, right? I mean, there should not be any restriction on that. Then somebody else collecting on our behalf, the garnished wages, the bank taking it off. All those are constructive receipt of income. And then comes exception. There was one small exception that we wrote, CDC bonds, okay? Only until maturity, uh, only at the time of maturity, it will be considered as income. But until then, you got to ignore it. And then we went on to learn about the forms two types of forms right the change of accounting period and then the accounting method there are two types of forms one is form 1128 and the other one is form 3115 then we went on to learn about the due dates due dates every form filing will have a due date now in the due dates we first learned about the individual tax forms that is form 1040 this is for us citizens residents or nationals and then we went on to learn about 1040 nr which is for non-residents and then we learned about 1040 x 1040 x okay this is for amending and we wrote the timeline also for this right three years from the original uh, due date or two years from the date the person paid the tax whichever is later okay 1040 and 1040 nr the due date is April 15th and in case you are not able to file your taxes on April 15th, you can request for additional time by filing an extension by requesting additional six months and that is going to be on October 15th and the extension request is made on form 4868. Then we went on to learn about the business tax forms. I think I told you already when you are doing business taxes, Remember always, you know, this five uh, types of, uh, you know, business taxes that you need to know. One, as a sole proprietor. I mean, this is going to be in part two. But just to, you know, create that interest, that curiosity, that and also, you know, in case you are already there in business taxes, you know this already. Okay. One is sole proprietor. Next one is LLC. LLC or then multiple member LLC or partnership. And then S Corp and then C Corp. These five things are very, very important when it comes to business taxes. Now, here in business tax forms, we learn about 1120, 1120S, form 1065 and then 7004. Now, 1120 is something for C corporations, 1120S is for S corporations, 1065 is for the partnerships, okay, and 7004 is the extension period. And I think I told you SPL, okay, special, past through entities are special and for them, the three letters, the due date is March 15th. And if you want, you know, additional time to file those three tax returns, take another six months and then uh, the due date will be September 15th, but for C corporation, the due date will be April 15th and form 7004 is the extension form for these business tax returns. Then we went on to learn the other tax forms also, form 706, form 709, form 1041 and then form 990. Form 706 is for estate, form 709 is for gift tax return. 1041 for estates and trusts and 990 is for tax exempt organizations. Then we went on to learn about the reporting forms, FBAR and then FATCA, Foreign Bank Accounting Report and then Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act Form 8938. This is applicable to US citizens and residents. FBAR must be filed in case they have more than $10,000 outside of USA and FATCA must be filed if they have more than $50,000 outside of USA. Then extensions. Extensions, we looked at what if the taxpayer is in the USA, it gets six months and extension is only for filing the return and not for paying the taxes. So any due dates, I mean any tax dues must be paid you know on or before the due date 
Next, for the taxpayer who is outside the USA, in case he has his main place of business or you know is serving in the uh, military or you know something like that, armed force or something, then he gets automatic two months extension. And the taxpayer is in combat zone. I think. Uh, we came up with a table there, uh, regular due days, uh, you know, 180 days from the last day the uh, soldier or the taxpayer was in the combat zone and extended due date is three and a half months from the first day, you know, the uh, person was in the combat zone. Then we went on to learn about, you know, just help me, you know, in case I am not <laughs> going fine, okay. And, and penalties is, is going to be of uh, months from two the, types, from failure day, to file you know, penalty. Uh, and then failure to pay penalty failure to file penalty also we had a table okay five percent per month and then failure to pay penalty 0.5 percent per month and then both are going to be uh, the max is going to be 25 percent and uh, then uh, what did we write ha huh. uh, ext extension is only for filing you know that's uh, not for payment i think we wrote that and in failure to pay penalty we wrote that you know in case uh, in case you know the extension is taken within the due date all the taxes are paid at least 90 percent of the taxes are paid then there and the extension form form 4868 is filed within the due date then this penalty can be avoided and also in any situation where both the penalties are involved then that penalty must be reduced from this penalty then we went on to learn about the filing status okay filing status so people who have just joined or who are watching us from here in the live session okay this is just a snapshot for you so that you don't feel like a non-resident <laughs> in our class so filing status is of five types is of five types first one is single you know it okay unmarried or divorced then married filing jointly somebody who is married and husband and wife they both come together for filing the return a curiosity may arise in a dirty mind sir you said husband and wife what if both are same sex <laughs> what if both are same sex okay even then same sex marriages are also considered as marriage and they can still file a joint return and then married filing separately married filing separately in case they do not agree or they want to be you know individually responsible or they have high incomes or something like that then <clears throat> they can use mfs as the filing status and then comes head of household okay head of households the bada bai types who takes care of the family you do not become the head of the family just because you are father or you are bada bai or something only when you do your responsibilities properly you become the head of the family and that's what is very technically said you know provide more than 50 percent the dependent must stay with you for at least six months you know and all those things conditions are listed there and qualifying widower with dependent child actually it was with the dependent child now they have made it as qualifying widower now this is only for the two years only for two years you know following the year of death only for two years following the year of death even in the year of death one can use mfj or MFS. That's it on the filing status. Then we went on to learn about dependence. In dependence, there are two types uh, qualifying child and then qualifying relative. Now, in order to consider somebody as qualifying child, there are four tests, four tests that need to be satisfied relationship test, age test, residency test, and then support test okay now in relationship test i think uh, we wrote that right we split it into two uh, child then brother or sister then own uh, step adopted grand and then foster child right not foster child foster child okay and then we wrote about brother and sister own step in half then age test we said you know normally it should be below 19 years and then if he's a full-time student he must be below 24 years and if the person is physically or mentally challenged or differently able then there is no age limit then we went on to learn about the residency test residency test we said you know that the person must be a u.s citizen or national or he must be somebody who has stayed in u.s for at least 183 days even a child who is born and dead during the year will still be considered as resident for this purposes then support test the provider 
tenant or whosoever the provider must have taken at least 50% of the living expenses of the child that's it then comes qualifying relative there are four tests that need to be satisfied not a qualifying child you must make sure that that the relative is not your chin to bunty bubbly right he can be your parent or in laws or any of your maternal or paternal relatives and then gross income test gross income test we must make sure that the income of the person is at least less than 4200 4, dollars must be less than $4,200 and then residency test and support test are going to be the same as we discussed in qualifying child. Now here there were some important forms. A custodian parent, in case of a divorce, a custodian parent, meaning the parent who has the custody of the child can allow the non-custodian parent to claim the child and that is done on form 8332. And in case of multiple support deduction, I think we discussed that, right? Mere paas ma hai. Yeah. <laughs> um, if two brothers are taking care of the mother, then they can claim the deduction by filing form 2120. Fine. So the next chapter was number eight, social security number. Social security number here, the best part, the best part about social security number is that it confers social security benefits. It means that, you know, uh, from a from the monthly pay, you know, every month the FICA taxes are deducted. FICA taxes are nothing but social security taxes and then Medicare taxes. All these taxes, you know, together are deposited in the social security benefits account with the social security administration. And this is paid to the person at the end of his retirement, death or disability, whichever is earlier. And SSN is a nine digit number and it does not begin with nine. Okay, that is what we learned on SN and the application is made on form SS5. And then we went on to learn about individual taxpayer identification number ITIN. And here we learned about form W7. We learned that it, this is also a nine digit number and the fourth digit is either seven or eight or nine. And this is primarily, primarily, primarily for the people who do not have SSN, who are not in employment. Uh, could be a non-working spouse. I hate saying non-working. You know that non-working spouse or non-earning dependents could be the kids, the qualifying child or the qualifying relative. Okay. And uh, I think I encouraged you to watch that video on YouTube or on the Facebook about um, the you know, uh, things you need to know about the ITN. I, am, I hope and believe. I believe that you have watched that video. So all the very best. Then we went on to learn about the residential status. In residential status, we said that an individual is categorized into two, either a citizen or national or an alien. And alien is again subclassified into three, resident alien, non-resident alien, and then dual status alien. And in resident alien, we said that there are the word resident has eight letters and there are eight situations in which a person can be treated as resident. So let's look at this one by one. The first one is green card holder. Anybody who has a green card will be treated as resident and then married to US citizen. Married to US citizen will also be treated as resident. And then somebody who is on employment visa H1 or L1 and who has stayed in US for at least 183 days, even that person will be treated as resident. And then student visa, somebody who has been on student visa for at least five years, that person will also be treated as resident. And then we went on to learn about uh, substantial presence test. Now in substantial presence test, there are two tests that are involved here, right? At least 31 days test, and then at least 183 days test. Now at least 31 days test, what that what does that mean? It means that the taxpayer must be in US in the current year for at least 31 days and that need not be in a row. And then comes at least 183 days test. Now here when we are doing 183 days test, I told you SPT, P, S, P, T, P, past, P, past it takes past into consideration so what do we do the number of days the person stayed in us in the current year into one by one 
the number of days the person stayed in US in the previous year into 1 by 3. The number of days the person stayed in US in the previous previous year into 1 by 6. The sub total of all these three must be at least 183 days. And for a person to be considered as a resident under substantial presence test, both A and B must be satisfied. Then. We went on to learn about first year choice test. People thought that this was tough, but our students proved that it is very, very easy to understand. And there are only three conditions, three tests that needs to be satisfied. One, at least 31 days test. What does that mean? It means the person must be in US in current year for at least 31 days. The only thing is it must be in a row. Then we learned about SPT, FYCT. SPT for the next year, SPT for the future year, FYCT, future year, future year, F is for future, then at least 75% test, then the number of days, now this is a little formula, the number of days actually present, actually present in the USA from the first day, first day of the 31 day period, and then the denominator would be the total number of days from the first day of the period to the last day of the tax year and that is a by b into 100 that has to be at least 75 percent next comes the non-resident spouse election 7 and 8 i mean number 7 and number 8 situation wherein a person can be treated as resident section 6013g election and then section 6013h election now what is section 6013g election here here the TP is considered resident, resident and spouse is considered a non-resident. I mean, if during the tax year, taxpayer, if at the end of the tax year, sorry, if at the end of the tax year, taxpayer was resident and spouse was a non-resident, then the resident taxpayer can choose to treat the non-resident spouse as resident. Isn't it? We, you remember that smiley that we put? Then we said they can file MFJ in form 1040. The only thing they have to attach a joint declaration statement. Then we went on to learn section 6013 H election. In this case, if at the end of the year, both are non-residents, both are non-residents, but because they satisfy the FYCT for the next year, next year, they can make an election to be treated as residents for the current year and they have to file a joint declaration statement. That's all. And... Uh, in case of dual status alien, dual status alien, I think I told you, I didn't make a slide on that. So in case of dual status alien, I think I told you that we have to file a 10, if at the end of the year he is a resident, then you have to file a 1040 return, 1040 on our statement. But if at the end of the year he was non-resident, then you have to file a 1040 uh, NR return and then 1040 statement. Then we went on to understand the taxation of income. In taxation of income, we said, uh, we put that table, right? For a citizen or resident, worldwide income. The global income is taxable. And for non-resident, only the income earned, only the income earned in USA is taxable. And I think we took the example of Raju, Ramu, Apna Naginda, yeah? All these examples, I think uh, we have taken in that, yeah? We spoke about the foreign tax credit and all. Then we went on to learn about the signing of tax returns. In the signing of tax returns, uh, we drew that table. We understood what is a form 8879. We understood that the taxpayer can have a self-select PIN, that is IP PIN, that is identity protection PIN, or he can allow the practitioner to generate the PIN using ERO, electronic return originator, and then EFIN. Electronic filing identification number that is something must for every practitioner to e file the tax return. And then for paper filing, uh, the paper filing situations too are very common. Uh, ITIN cases, form W7 is used. In that case, you have to paper file the return and then 1040X also as on today, 1040X is uh, not officially confirmed that it can be e-filed, but the plans are that it may soon be e-filed. Even 1040NR initially, 
it used to be paper filing but you know i think just two or three years ago it was allowed e-filing similarly we hope that in these pandemic times even this becomes uh, e-filing it takes off you know so much burden then we went on to learn about the types of relief uh, injured spouse claim and then innocent spouse relief injured spouse relief if one of the spouse is not able to get her refund just because of the co-applicant you know of the other spouse you know past tax dues or something like that then in that case she can make an application for injured spouse claim and then we went on to learn about innocent spouse relief i think i told you the story from shivaji right even our cameraman helped us on that day <laughs> uh, in case you have underreported income not reported your income or if you have done something you know uh, in contravention uh, to the guidelines over claim the deductions or something like that then uh, you get to uh, claim this innocent spouse relief and these two forms are something that you can make a note of form 8379 for injured spouse claim and form 8857 for innocent spouse relief now with this you are no longer an innocent person no longer an ignorant person i think this is the time you should be ignited and not ignorant okay and get started prepare practice and pass and this is the end of section one having said this we will get into section number two okay fine so i'm curious to know go to menti.com i mean in life what kind of incomes you need to succeed in life? What is the medium that we can do? What is the What are the sources of income? Go to menti.com and use that code and please type. Sources of income. Roti, kapda, matan, internet. Okay. <laughs> उसके लिए क्या चाहिए भाई वो पे करने के लिए पैसा कैसे कमाओगे वर्किंग है जॉब यस ओ समबडी टाइप वेरी टेक्निकल वेरी गुड सैलरी रेंटल अदर इनकम बिजनेस इनकम डिविडेंड्स वेरी गुड नाइस इनका व्हाट इज interest income good being a self publisher being a self published author yeah you can say royalty yeah online teaching <laughs> that's again a business or a profession investments yes good make it interactive please okay it's already boring for me <laughs> i see you in the camera <laughs> So, if you are for those of you who are studying in early morning hours or uh, at the middle of the night all alone while your family members are uh, sleeping, my hug and my pat to you, okay? <laughs> all the very best. <laughs> Do well. Okay, fine. Let's take a look at the incomes, okay? What does the law say about the incomes? When we look at form uh, 1040, when we look at form 1040, we see here, you know, this is form 1040. For those of you who are watching us only today, see, be rest assured, uh, people, that uh, I try to teach class in such a way that wherever you listen from, you understand, okay? <laughs> uh, so, this is 1040. 1040 is the tax return, main tax return, okay? And these are the different incomes. I think it is visible. Can this remember? Yeah, these are the different incomes. Okay. Wages, salaries, tips. We will learn all that. Wages, salaries, tips, it means related to employment. Then tax exempt interest or taxable interest. 
now tax exempt interest taxable interest means the same then qualified dividends right qualified dividends ordinary dividends then ira distributions now ira distributions means individuals retirement arrangement individual ka retirement arrangement just like how we have you know lic zindagi ke saath bhi zindagi ke baad bhi right <laughs> or the hdfc sir uta ke jio <laughs> i'm sure most of you are in financial planning and then retirement planning also you know it better than me the pensions and annuities all these are related to retirement income okay and then social security benefits social security benefits i think we discussed when we did ssn and then capital gains or losses capital gains or losses any capital asset you had for at least one year when you sell it after one year that is treated as a capital gain or loss then other incomes any other incomes you have so this is how you know an income is uh, categorized and then comes uh, it says other income from schedule 1 line 9 okay so let's see what is schedule 1 we have to go to a <laughs> earlier all this used to be in a single form apna trump came and tak 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 he cut off and he divided and ruled yeah schedule 1 okay additional income and then adjustments to income now these are the different incomes here additional income okay what are these additional incomes taxable refunds when you file the tax return what happens three things happen you get a refund or you pay taxes or nothing happens employer deducts only how much you have to pay that is called effective tax planning right tds is equal to tax liability now in case you get refund that is also taxable of course federal tax refunds are exempt okay except in a state of iowa anyway state taxes we are not going to discuss because enrolled agent examination is only about federal taxes okay so practically federal taxes are exempt and then comes ali money received ali money means any amount that you receive in the event of divorce wherein one spouse makes payment to another then business income whatever income you make from business other gains any other gain any other property sold off and then rental real estate you know that right rent rent from the property then comes royalties like what tulsi was saying you know writing a book or singing or whatsoever then comes partnerships s corporation trust any income you know from the pass through entities is also you know the same and then comes farm income means agricultural income agricultural income <laughs> then comes unemployment compensation now in us what happens is now i mean so many thousands of people i, I last when i last saw was 600000 uh, people who applied for uh, unemployment compensation in usa i mean because of this pandemic uh, uh, things uh more than you know i mean close to how many people applied it was like 600000 plus oh my god oh 4.4 million americans filed last week wow last week this article is more than one month old wow may 15th april 2nd 6.65 million people oh fortune magazine says 6.6 million people oh my god tough times the tough ones will prevail it's not a dialogue that's a statement in itself 
it's a statement in itself. So I was uh, talking in one of the TDA sessions and uh, my little learning that I drew from my business uh, mentor, Patrick Bet David, he was telling that, you know, there are two types of leader. One is a what time leader and second one is a peace time leader. Now, what peace time leaders, let's discuss. Okay, peace time leader is somebody who wants everything to be arranged, everything to be put in place and then he will make a beginning. Let everything set down. Pota ma, pota pani pota. Once, you know, let the lockdown be over. We don't know when the lockdown is going to be over. Okay. Go to job. Okay. Study this. Yeah. After lockdown. After lockdown. You have seen some useless people like that. No. Right. So, these people come into those categories. Right. Peacetime leaders. Now, what time leader is somebody when there is a crisis? What best he can do? What best he can do? So, let's say everything is with floods. At least the neighbors child at least you know the somebody who is right next to his door at least he will try to save that person similarly even in the company also whether the company is drown, drowning or whatsoever i felt very sad watching that video you know wherein a drunkard is lifting up our economy drinking is not bad i am not opposed to it if that is your habit go ahead and do it but a great nation like india should not be lifted up by a drunkard is what i feel you want to ఒక తాగుబోతుడు మన దేశాన్ని నిలబెడుతున్నాడు అని అంటే అది మనకు సిగ్గు చేయటదు ఇట్స్ అ షేమ్ ఆన్ అస్ ఇఫ్ అ డ్రంకర్డ్ ఇస్ రివైవింగ్ అవర్ ఇండియన్ ఎకానమీ అవర్ ఇండియన్ ఎకానమీ మస్ట్ బి రివైవ్డ్ బై ది ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ అండ్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ సిటిజన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నేషన్ బై అ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్యామిలీ నాట్ బై అ డ్రంకర్డ్ సో ఐ అర్జ్ యూ టుడే యాజ్ యువర్ టీచర్ అండ్ యాజ్ యువర్ కోచ్ that you should be responsible in your family in your workplace and in whatever that you have taken up it should not be fancy or it should not be a force that somebody propelled you to do it if you have taken it up finish it and i would love to enjoy and be part of that be of that part of success in your life be responsible okay coming back so so many unemployment applications we hope and pray that you know uh, things will revive so these are the different incomes you know that we see on the form 1040 and uh, we have seen the other incomes also wages interest dividend ira pension social security benefits capital gain other income and then comes refund ali money business income other gains rental income farm income unemployment compensation and more okay we will learn all this you know step by step so we will go to a fresh page fresh page okay leave one page after section 1 because when you are doing mcqs in case you get any new point abba sar chapale sar nahi bole nahi batai okay do not panic <laughs> we have covered as much as possible in case you see something was missing please make a note of that we give you mcqs you know so much so that it is tough for you to fail it is tough for you to fail practice it twice read the theory properly see don't uh, try to memorize anything let me tell you even i don't memorize if i don't have these things before me you ask me what is schedule one you know line number eight line number 12 13 and all i mean not needed <laughs> go to google the form is right here you are able to see why should i remember my phone has all the people that i need the numbers are there but why should i remember all the people's phone numbers why should i waste my memory on that who is going to give me a certificate for that and what is the use of that certificate what is relevant let us try to study that be proud that you are studying something which is relevant for the industry relevant for the workplace relevant for the market now మంచి చదువు చదువుతున్నారు మీరు యు ఆర్ రియల్లీ స్టడింగ్ బోత్ అచ్చి పడాయి కర్రి ఆఫ్ ద కోర్స్ దట్ యు హ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ఆల్సో నాట్ దట్ యు ఎన్రోల్డ్ ఇన్ ఐలి ద కోర్స్ దట్ యు హ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ఇట్స్ అ లైసెన్స్ ఇట్స్ అ లైసెన్స్ బీ ఎంకరేజ్ ఓకే అండ్ హ్యావింగ్ సెట్ దిస్ లెట్స్ గో ఇట్ ఫైన్ సో గో టు ఫ్రెష్ పేజ్ పుట్ ద హెడింగ్ సెక్షన్ టూ section 2 section 2 incomes section 2 
section to incomes. Section to incomes, okay. Chapter one, Se section two, okay. Heading, I mean, main heading is section two. Now we are doing section two, just like how we did section one, and in that we did chapter. Similarly, now we are in section two. In this chapter one, chapter one, gross income, grass car, gross, gross income. Okay, so now gross income. Okay, so all these incomes that we have learned, we'll just try to write. Okay, so now in gross income, what we will try to write is chapter one gross income. Okay, in that uh, question is uh, uh, we can say what incomes are taxable. Okay, question number one, chapter one, question number one. What incomes are taxable, or what comes in gross income? Anything? I mean, what is gross income? What is gross income? Hmm. What incomes are taxable, or what is gross income? Anything is the same. Okay, let's write in that points. Uh, let's write numbers in that. Okay, numbers, numbers in that, or alphabets also. Okay. Wages, salaries, and tips. Wages, salaries, and tips. Wages, salaries, and tips. We wrote the table also in this chapter, right? Earlier. Oh, we wrote the no table problem. also in this chapter, right? Earlier. Fine. Wages, salaries, and tips. Next. Okay, uh, let me show you the uh, source document also for this. I will give you a table uh, separately. Or uh, let's write off first, okay? Let's write off all the incomes and then we will try to know the source documents. I mean, for salary here also in India, what happens? You get the salary, you get the pay stub, it gets created in the bank. Again, at the end of the year, what happens? You get form 16. You get form 16, okay? The same thing happens here also. One, wages, salaries, and tips. Two, interest income. Two, interest income. Three, dividend income. Interest income, then dividend income. Next, IRAs, pensions and annuities. IRAs, we will be doing a separate chapter, individual retirement arrangement. As of now, you just write IRAs. IRAs, pensions, and then annuities. IRA, pension, and then annuities. Next, social security benefits. Social security benefits. I explain, I'll explain all of this to you. 
सोशल सिक्योरिटी बेनिफिट्स सोशल सिक्योरिटी बेनिफिट्स देन स्टेट एंड लोकल टैक्स रिफंड स्टेट एंड लोकल टैक्स रिफंड Okay, let's write cap K gain also. <laughs> Capital gains. Madan, morning I have tested on uh, this restream thing. So YouTube and Facebook they don't have any problem in streaming. Link next to you write uh, to be approved. Business so income. I also applied it on behalf of Pilot Tax Academy page. Business Then income. Instagram needs a software called as Yellow Duck. Yellow Duck once you install your business get income. RTA. Ali money, Ali money, Ali money, other gains. other gains rents royalties rents royalties next income from pass through entities income from pass through t h r o u g h income from pass through entity pass through entities i think i told you right spl brackets you write spl income from pass through entities S P L S Corporation partnerships and then limited liability companies more than I mean multiple members LLC. Next comes farm income. farm income next is unemployment compensation unemployment compensation next comes other income other income commissions next one is commissions
Next, income from estates or trusts. Income from estates or trusts. Next, income received by legal hair. Income received by legal hair. When does somebody receive, you know, when does the legal hair uh, receive the income? Only when the main person is gone, right? Next, gifts, gifts, next, illegal or unlawful income. <laughs> Illegal or unlawful income. I mean, kisi ko maarne ke liye bhi tum paise lo. Income tax department says pay tax on that. Supari liye na, coca liye na, tax pay karo. I mean, judging whether it is a crime or not, that is that comes in the jurisdiction of Indian Penal Code, not the uh, income tax department. This will say, you know, the black laundering, money laundering, black money, black money and all, whatever you do, tax pay. Karo. Next, gambling, gambling, speculation incomes, gambling or lotteries or casino or horse races. Gambling or lotteries or casinos. Casino. You remember that game C A S I N O. For those of you who do not know. Casino games. You know this one. You must have seen in the movies. Yeah. Casinos. Then horse races. Horse races. Horse races. Next is hobby income. Next is hobby income. Hobby income. Like photography, stamp collecting, coins collecting, painting. Hobby. As long as it is not a profession. Profession is different. If you are a painter uh, or an artist or photographer, videographer, that's a profession. But if you are just doing it as a hobby, that's different. Yeah, hobby income. So 23, we. Right, right. Very good. I'll just read it once again. Wages, salary, and tip. Interest income, dividend income, IRS pensions and annuity, social security benefits, state and local tax refunds, capital gains, business income, alimony, other gains, rents, royalties, income from pass through entities, farm income, unemployment compensation, other income, commissions, income from estate or trust, income received by legal hair, gifts, illegal or unlawful income then gambling or lotteries or casino or horse races and then hobby income so 22 yeah so these are the different types of incomes that is available for the mankind and we thought we survive only on salary 
<laughs> every time you feel hopeless you know see that there are so many income opportunities here now just you take salary there are so many companies that video you know that i asked you to watch yeah so many opportunities yeah things will get better after the lockdown companies will open but whom will they give the first preference to or whom will they stop letting go only the one who is talented one who is able one who is hard working one who is productive one who is able to bear fruits amidst famine fruits amidst famine okay oh what is that movie i used to watch you know there was that uh, what is that movie aati kya kandala antar dun amir khan hey movie man what is that movie there used to be a movie and uh, gulam i guess uh yeah in this movie you know uh, amir khan's dad amir khan's dad he tells a story tells a dialogue you know lehro mein to koi bhi tair sakta hai uh you just watch that okay lehro mein to koi bhi tair sakta hai lekin asli insaan wo hai jo un lehro ko cheerte hue aage badhta hai you know i love that dialogue maybe you were watching rani mukherjee and aarti kya kandala <laughs> but besides that i watch that also and uh, it just i just like that you know lehro mein to koi bhi tair sakta hai lekin asli insaan wo hai jo un lehro ko cheerte hue aage nikalta hai so all the very best enjoy the 10 minutes break okay 10 15 minutes and we will resume and we will start with wage income okay fine so we learned what is gross income uh okay to that gross income i would also request you to add the following okay some other incomes also uh please add it there <clears throat> if the alphabets exhaust uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong okay uh some more incomes cryptocurrencies 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 or bitcoins bit b i t c o i n s bitcoins or virtual currencies we will add these also ye bhi add kar liye to acha hai then cancelled debts cancelled debts scholarships and grants scholarships and grants court or government awards kabhi kabhi dete hain na bravery award yeah <laughs> that may be exempt but it should be reported in the tax return then barter income barter income barter income what do you mean by barter income it's like uh, let's say these premises okay uh i pay uh rent for this okay now let's say that rent is equal to the fees for ea training 
then the landlord says babu uh, you don't pay me rent for one month let my daughter study here. okay uncle. fine so did he receive the rent yes did i get the fees yes that is barter income next jury duty pay jury j u r y jury duty pay okay uh Abdul Halim, uh, sir, there is no state taxes in individual taxes. I heard that it's very important for practical work uh, because people will work in two, three states, and all states income need to report in every state. Sahi sunay ab, correct? Practically, state tax knowledge is also important. But for EA examination. we will be discussing only on federal taxes we have something called as real time preparation to so, wo real time preparation mein aap sikhenge 1040 kaise banana abhi 1040 kya hai is what we are learning now now how to prepare a 1040 so when we teach you 1040 we will also teach you the different case scenarios if the person is in two states three states kaisa rehta kya hai okay so all that you will be learning in real time not in uh, these sessions because yahan pe क्वेश्चन भी नहीं आता एग्जाम में बोलो कैलिफोर्निया में कितना टैक्स रेट है वो टोपोग्राफी आल्सो नो वन विल आस्क यू इज दिस अ टैक्स फ्री स्टेट नो वन इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू ओके आई थिंक यू कैन शेयर द इमेज समबडी पिंग कैन यू आई सेड बार्टर इनकम द इनकम्स आर कोर्ट और गवर्नमेंट अवार्ड्स बार्टर इनकम एंड देन ज्यूरी ड्यूटी पे सौजन्य ओके कुल सो दोज वेर द इनकम लेस पीपल नाउ वी विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओके नाउ आई विल शो यू समथिंग Okay, before I show you all. Okay, no problem. Let's see this. I think I showed you this W two. Did I show them the W two form? Okay. Okay, this is W two. W two, wage and tax statement. Wage and tax statement. okay so if you see here uh, you can also watch on your system or laptop okay now see let's try to understand these boxes okay boxes employee social security number let's say you are the employee okay so your social security number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then comes employer identification number you as the employee will have social security number employer will have employer identification number employer so let's say 27 this is also nine digits but 2 and 7 this is how it will be then comes employer's name and address so let's say i leave tax llc then employee's first name and initial last name okay uh, employee we will say dipti okay so these are the five boxes then employee state uh, employee address and zip code address and all employer's address and all okay the six boxes are clear employee social security number zoom jema employee social security number employer identification number employer name address and zip code control number god promise even i don't know employee's first name and initial and then employee's address and then zip code so next now comes boxes 1 to 20 okay dhyan se sunna sir wages tips other compensation wages okay 
Now let's say hundred thousand is the wages. I told you, you no, know, we should not say lakh. Lakh nahi bolna. Hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars. Now let's assume he is in ten percent bracket. I am going to know. So we will think that he is in ten percent bracket. So what will we do? Ten thousand. Is pay. Ten thousand. I just assume for ease of maths. Okay. Those who have enrolled for uh, payroll tax course, <laughs> payroll taxation, they will know better. You know how these things are calculated. But for us, this is enough. Okay. Ten thousand dollars. Now social security wages. Hundred thousand. Okay, now watch this carefully. This, the next box that you see, the social security taxes. This is going to be six point two percent of box three. यानी इस पे ये इस पे था. Okay, box two was on box one. Box four is on box three. How much? 6.2 percent of box three. यानी कितना? 6,200. Is this clear? इसी को social security taxes बोलते हैं. Now, coming to Medicare wages, hundred thousand. Okay. Now, this is going to be 1.45 percent of box five. यानी इस पे कितना 1.45 पॉइंट फोर फाइव यानी वन थाउजेंड फोर फिफ्टी समझिए परसेंटेज है बस 6.2 परसेंट इस पे बॉक्स फोर इज 6.2 परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स थ्री बॉक्स सिक्स इज 1.45 परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स फाइव तो ये याद रख लें नहीं तो इन नोट्स आल्सो इफ यू वांट यू कैन जस्ट पुट द बॉक्सेस बॉक्स वन ऐसा यू नो ऐसा डाल सकते हैं आप द बॉक्स वन यू नो बॉक्स थ्री बॉक्स फाइव बॉक्स टू बॉक्स फोर एंड देन बॉक्स सिक्स सो दिस इज लाइक यू नो सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट दिस इज लाइक वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसें that 10% that was just an example main is this 6.2% and then 1.45% okay now next aata dekho social security tips allocated tips somebody who is in uh, restaurant business <laughs> so if any of our clients are watching us from us I miss the cheesecake factory. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so tips, the tip income, okay, and then comes dependent care benefits. Dependent care benefits, okay. Uh, dependent care benefits in the sense, you know, in case you have kids, you have your parents or your in-laws or anybody, you know, whom you are taking care. And the employer is giving you dependent care. Okay. Now let's say uh, I mean there are many single mothers, right? They couldn't survive their marriage, and uh, they brought the uh, son or daughter. You know, facing all the challenges of the life. Uh, let's say son. Okay. so the son grew up now mother is old mother needs attention medical attention and all and uh, son is a meritorious student because of his hard work and mother's love care support encouragement and all now son gets a wonderful job bill gates is impressed <laughs> his it wizard bill gates is impressed and bill gates offers him a job story and it is true also with some people my story what i am telling you now has been true in some people's life so the employer says uh, uh, you know you are selected congratulations this is your salary 100000 dollars as a fresher welcome welcome to microsoft 
but uh, our uh, hero says uh, no no my mom is important for me i cannot leave her and uh, it will be difficult for her uh, if i go to office who will take care of me at least here you know my uncle aunt i, I live with joint family here you know there's somebody to take care so mr gates says uh, don't worry that shouldn't be a concern at all you just come to office and as much as possible i'll try to give you work from home also given these pandemic times and even after that also you know she will settle down and we will arrange a medical attendant also for your mom or some housekeeping or caretaker for your mom who will be with your mom 24 hours and we will put uh, you know the cctv cameras so that you can see your mom all the time when you're working we will put the video conferencing facility you can talk to her you know in the break time sip coffee a uh, coffee along with her Don't you think he's a wonderful employer? <laughs> I wish you know all the employers were wonderful human beings. Also, we are trying to be one. <laughs> I believe we are one. Anyways, uh, so any expenses you know that the employer is incurring for the care of his employees, that is called dependent care benefit. Dependent care benefit. So that is one example. Now the second example is like husband and wife. Both are amazing performers. Amazing performers. Okay, and they have skyrocketed the business in the company, and uh, now they are blessed with a chintu. <laughs> with a chintu. Okay, one year wife has been at home and uh, was taking care of the child. Okay, they thought one more year. Employer was thinking, you know, one more year. One says two years. She'll come back to work. and uh, uh she says you know it's us we cannot hire nanny and all there's nobody to take care so employer says say it's a 8 hour or 9 hour job 9 hours job so even if you're putting him or her in preschool preschool let's say okay so two and a half years or three years okay ideal age to put in a nursery or whatever kindergarten play school jo bhi bolo tum you know anyways putting in that we will arrange a nanny or somebody you know to take care of the baby aap aa jaiye at the end of the day you are working for your kids future even now as you are sitting and studying you are either doing it for your parent for your spouse or for your kid yeah or to prove that idiot who said you cannot do anything you are like this you will never achieve this is your fate right you have to prove that idiot that you are not that you should say i do it idiot i do it okay so whatever employer pays to that person that is called dependent care benefit so let's say dependent care benefits are some 5000 dollars then comes non qualified plans you know 12 box number 12 is reimbursements then statutory employee retirement plan third party sick pay uh in this statutory uh, employee not that important uh but uh, you know statutory employee we can say like uh, uh you know somebody who is appointed only for a particular purpose i mean he will work only for that company and it is mainly applicable you know to the car drivers uh and all that but not that uh, uh, important here now retirement plan i will tell you retirement plan um see employer will also be caring for his employees so just like you know pf or whatsoever how we have here similarly in us also you have something called as 401k what is that 401k 401k retirement can you refresh that 401k retirement plans okay so wherein the contribution is made by the employer as well as the employee both make the contributions and that is for the retirement and when you retire disease or death you know disabled that time you can take the money 401k so that is this retirement plan okay then comes third party sick pay it's like employer taking some insurance is taking the insurance 
and people who work in this coal mines right uh, pharmaceutical companies or uh, people who make uh, thermals you know or uh, uh, pharmaceutical items or uh, bulbs electricity electrical equipments also uh, the factory and all it's going to be completely different so the kind of vapor that they inhale is not good for them and all i mean yeah people who work in mines or in the um, pharmaceutical companies when in the research r and d is more they will know it better okay they have a different uh, dress code uniform whatsoever okay so those people in case they get sick then a third party pays them the pay right that is called third party paying the pay when the person is sick right third party sick pay then box 12 it has some codes i will show you those codes okay like uh, uh, you get the stock options from the employer and in case you are relocating from one location to another uh, employer gives you some allowances yeah all those things will come in box number 12 and then 14 13 is uh, okay retirement plan third party sick pay 14 is other income any foreign income or whatsoever so 1 to 14 is this guys yeah just take a look take a look at the form at the boxes on your phone or on your laptop whatever just pull out the w2 and uh, try to see this and if possible just take a snapshot of this so that you know once you get your mcqs uh, copy these forms also you know you can take a printout of these forms and try to scribble it or just take a screenshot of this keep it on your desktop US taxation is a wonderful, wonderful area. Chadu ko le gani meru manchiya. Chala bounder. Both acha rehte aap log. Try to achieve, you know, excellence, not perfection in the subject. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is W2 and here you see these uh, boxes 15, okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay. Now you see your box number 15, 15 hai box number, right, Yaan pe we will be writing the state abbreviations. All these were federal federal okay now here we will be writing the state abbreviations yani kya hai uh, we will write uh, let's say ca kya hai ca <laughs> what is ca california okay then you write the ca state id number jo bhi hai and then let's say the person was residing in two states so while he was in california he made 60000 dollars of income and let's say you know 5% tax rate in California, so $3,000. Now, is California subject to city or county taxes? No, because KMNOP, right? You know, states which are subject to city taxes KMNOP, Kentucky, Michigan, New York, Ohio, and then Pennsylvania. And is it subject to county taxes? No, I, I am Indiana, Iowa and then Maryland. So, local tax, it means 
city tax and then county tax motham board ga anipistunnamu city tax and then county tax so this we will not have anything ca okay sir but box 1 is 100000 no yes right he has worked in other state okay so let's say pa pa pennsylvania pennsylvania okay so there he worked and in that state he earned 40000 let's say 5% tax 2000 now is pa subject to local taxes what type of local tax city very good okay came in no p p is that let's say philadelphia yeah now 40000 normally you know 1% tax will be there so let's say 400 dollars and here in locality name we say philadelphia philly okay box 1 to box number 20 go through once aram se take a screenshot if possible try to hypnotize the form yeah okay so can i take this off <clears throat> can i take this off no see this w2 this w2 is of three types on but w2 is of three types three types of w2 okay one don't write anything first listen regular w2 next you have corrected w2 and then you have substitute w2 okay na now regular w2 and the same form w2 what we just saw now corrected w2 i'll show you that form that is form w2 c now let's say somebody made a mistake okay instead of uh, nanda kumar he put nanda gopal let's say nanda kishore or instead of 100000 he put 120000 140000 you know something like that have uh, glass 140000 and uh, you know some mistakes here and there a name is incorrect address is incorrect or some numbers are incorrect you know all those things so form w2 form w2 c and then substitute w2 form 4852 okay see generally the due dates by which you know all these w2s must be issued is jan 31st i mean this is also immediately i mean whenever the request is made you know the uh, i would say uh, immediately or shortly okay now in that i'll tell you see when you are request the employer employer should try to give you as immediate as possible okay so now substitute w2 uh, let me tell you the story so now because the tax year uh, is jan to december okay now we are doing december uh, i mean 2019 taxes right so jan 1st to december 31st 2019 okay this is the tax year now when do you file when do you expect the w2 by jan 31st 2020 now what is jan month i mean for festivals what is the month of jan famous for especially in south india yeah harvest harvest time sankranti right pongal time and pongal kids what is famous right <laughs> right kites <laughs> now let's say your chintu was asking you daddy you know kites and then you say no i'm not going to buy the kites no no monne somebody you know fell off from the terrace and uh, somebody you know that manja cut the fingers all you know dads how they say <laughs> even my dad was also like that and uh, go first complete your homework then do you know all these things 
and bichara he has been uh, requesting you know day one from bogi time is requesting bogi sankranti makar sankranti then mat pongal you know all that jalli ka today this fellow decided no today i'm not going to leave what is that uh, dialogue super 30 aapatti mein aavishkar paida hota hai right <laughs> so he sees the w2 there <laughs> that is w2 is in the file that's the only paper he sees and he takes the w2 neatly <laughs> he goes to bathroom take the proper sticks from the broomstick and he makes a decent kite <laughs> own creativity own creativity <laughs> my brother used to make kites for us so <laughs> i'm sure you know some of you watching must be must have made the kites in the childhood and if you have not flown a kite any time boy or girl girl okay boy maybe your childhood was not that great <laughs> you should participate you know especially 80 90s generation all those games you know the marbles gilli dand um, you know the cricket you know, kites all these were like fancy so if you have not played them i'm i feel so sorry for you <laughs> so this chintu you know he has started flying the kites and uh, patanga bhi gaye <laughs> manja le gaya <laughs> daddy didn't buy manja no <laughs> which i was trying he was uh, uh, happy making a kite and it flew also you know with the uh, machine घर पे मम्मी वो बटन ये वो सिलाने सिलने के लिए लगाते ना दा घर पे तो उसमें बना लिया बच्चा अभी ही यूज ऑल द फेविकॉल यू नो एंड ऑल प्रॉपरली मेड द काइट ही फ्लू द काइट विद दी यू नो दैट रेगुलर थ्रेड यू नो दैट वी यूज टू स्टिच बटन एंड ऑल एंड कोई पेंच डाल दिया गई खत्म ना Dad is wondering where is W two. <laughs> He cannot ask the employer for corrected W two also. क्या बोलता है अभी जाके W two is such an important thing. You cannot save the W two. How will you save the company under an unco employer? <laughs> employer ऐसा बोल दिया समझो. You cannot save the W two. How can you save the company? Uh, he is afraid. He don't want to go to employer ask for a new copy. But actually, you can go to employer and ask for a new copy of W two. That is always there. now in case employer says you know or this incident happened you know after the person left the company this story scenarios okay after the person left the company this scenario happened and jab chhod diya company boss ko de diya pura ha tum aisa company hai tum faltu company hai ye wo dhadal okay all this he has given to the boss now with what face he will go and ask for w2 <laughs> so he doesn't want to go so then what the law says is in that case you can prepare your own w2 that is called substitute w2 now how do we prepare our own w2 it is possible with the help of uh, you know every month you get the salary credit right you must have got the pay slips and all so you know all the deductions and all so using your pay slips using the credits that happened in your uh, bank statement using that you will be able to prepare a substitute w w2 on form 485 is this clear okay so this we will write self prepare can you please drop this chart yeah w2 three types zoom jema kuch w2 three types regular corrected substitute next number number 2 uh, number 1 chapter number 1 was gross income now chapter 2 you say wage income chapter 2 wage income chapter 1 was gross income and we listed all the different types of gross incomes there now chapter 2 is wage income now wage income lo you please write w2 and then i think you wrote that uh, social security medicare thing also local tax also yeah now please write this
Okay, Kish, Krishna. Krishna paying the wage income is 60 plus 40 is equal to 100k, but taxes also needs to match. No, ma, not necessary because uh, there are federal taxes. There are three types of taxes here on the W2 also. There are three types of taxes. What are the taxes? Three or uh, we can say five types of taxes actually. Five types of taxes. What are they? What are the five types of taxes that you see? Okay, let me write here. Okay, uh, federal, right? You see the federal tax, then you see the social security tax, you see the Medicare tax, you see the state tax, and then you see the local tax. In the tax, will get there. Got it? Adesh month bomb. In the tax, birthday is only for Adesh. Itna, acha hai. अपने पास इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल के लिए आए तो भी मारते थोड़े जगह में राइट एनीवेज फिर भी मेरा भारत महान नाउ फेडरल टैक्स सोशल सिक्योरिटी टैक्स नाउ फेडरल टैक्स इज समथिंग दैट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय द आईआरएस या दैट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड एंड इट चूज करने देवर इट इज अंडर द अथॉरिटी ऑफ आईआरएस फेडरल टैक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज बाय द आईआरएस नाउ सोशल सिक्योरिटी एंड मेडिकेयर टैक्स दिस इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय एसएसए Social Security Administration and then state tax by the concerned state only, respective state and then local tax again by the uh, locality of that particular state or school district or you know, uh, whatever. So all are different, they may not match. Okay, I believe you have understood. Yeah? Because I am always getting believed, so no hopes that you have not understood. So I believe that you have understood. Okay. Are you enjoying the learning? Are you enjoying the learning? Yeah. Maybe you are so much enjoying that I can feel you right before me. <laughs> I am able to empathize. Okay. Now. Okay, we will just come here and uh, just try to type 
what all can somebody receive from the employer sir titlu untai sir taane padte sir roj hum taane sunte taane sunte taare bhi dekhte aap but what all emoluments compensation ke hisab se एम्प्लॉयर से क्या क्या लेते हैं आप वॉट ऑल डू यू रिसीव इन एम्बॉल्यूमेंट और इन कॉम्पनसेशन वॉट्स एवर ओके प्लीज टाइप ओके शेयर जीता मुद्दा अब तनख्वा नहीं चाहिए सैलरी डाले सैलरी उद्धन को shares bonuses <laughs> commission okay share in profits very good hikes bonuses incentives wonderful <laughs> retirement benefits insurance reimbursements very good hourly commission na babe <laughs> अवरली कमीशन वेरी नाइस आलोचित चलो भाई एम्प्लॉयर एम से क्या देता भाई एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉयर से क्या क्या ले सकते सोचो ठीक है आगे ना मी माई कन्वेन्स फुड अलोवेन्स मीद पड़ा ओके पार्टीज कंपनी आउटिंग्स राइट गुड यस वेरी गुड पिल मुंगट उंटे रप रप रेस्प anyways maybe you know your thought process just stay uh, just stop by these things okay maybe even you didn't expect you know in gross income we will write uh, so many more pairs we wrote almost like some 30 28 something okay <clears throat> so alphabets are also existed yeah we have so many options you know in the gross income also tips yeah yearly travel expense reimbursement yeah leave <laughs> <laughs> leave it <laughs> good chalo i'll tell you you know what all comes in w2 i mean what all will be considered as income from employment income from employment is not just restricted to salaries okay wo chhod ke bahut sare hain income from employment okay so promotions <laughs> good promotions dependent care benefit hmm. on time salary <laughs> very good nice very good holiday compensation nice <laughs> okay so all these come from employer whatever you have typed in make a bahubali promise that once i become employer i will give all this to my employees chain लैपटॉप में जेबे टेनिस हाथ रखना सिस्टम पे या मोबाइल पे बोलना के गॉड मेक मी ये एंड वंस आई सक्सीड एंड वंस आई बिकम एन एम्प्लॉयर आई विल गिव ऑल दिस टू माय एम्प्लॉयज गॉड गिव्स थिंग्स ओनली टू दोस पर्सन हु कैन गिव टू अदर्स व्हाट्स अप स्टेटस गर्ल दैट्स अ फैक्ट दैट्स अ फैक्ट एवर द ग्रुंडो वाले दिन नीचे मन पंदोल जिसके पास है उसी के पास से अपन ले सकते यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम यू नीड सम टेन थाउजेंड नाउ हु विल यू कॉल जिसके पास पॉकेट भी है पॉकेट है और पॉकेट के पीछे जरा दिल भी है राइट सो ओनली दैट पर्सन विल कम टू योर माइंड तो आपके पास दिल दिमाग सलामत रखें आप और दुनिया आपकी मुट्ठी में रहे ओके सो ऑल द बेस्ट आमीन बोल लेना चलो लेट्स राइट पुट द हेडिंग इनकम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट इनकम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लिस्ट यू नो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट इनकम्स दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट 
Now the same in this chapter one. Chapter two, wage income only. In that wage income means what? Income from employment. Okay. So put the heading. Income from employment. So in income from employment, we will write the points, okay, points, kya kya aa sakta hai, income from employment, from employer, okay, what all can we get, first one, wages, wages or salaries. First one is wages or salaries. Next. Next one. Bonus. Next point. Okay. Points. Points ke hesaab se likna. Okay. First one. Wages and salaries. Next one. Hai, zoom out somewhere. Just cover both of us. Wages and salaries. Next one you write bonus, incentives or commissions. Bonus, incentives or commissions. Next. Employee benefits or fringe benefits. Employee benefits or fringe benefits. Fringe, F-R-I-N-G-E. Even in your BCom, you must have uh, learned perquisites, right? And then they give car, car, uh, house, and furnished accommodation they give. Or you can write uh, employee benefits, fringe benefits, or you write D minimis. D minimis. Okay. D E M I N I M I S. D minimis. Okay. Now, next one is uh, next one we will write parking allowance. Parking allowance. Parking allowance. Now, in some companies, that is, I mean, if you take the, uh, what do you call, taking the office outside, uh, I mean, renting a workstation or, I mean, a virtual office or something like that. Uh, co-working space, you know, you're trying to take a co-working space outside. Um, I mean, for that space, you have to pay the rent. And on top of that uh, co-working space, uh, even for the parking also, they will charge you. You have a two-wheeler, for the parking cost will be different. Then you have a four-wheeler, the parking cost will be different. Or if you have a Harley or a Triumph, you cannot keep it uh, in the two-wheeler thing, right? You can take, I mean, I have seen that, yeah. So, people will take a, at least a chota car, smart car, utna parking space and they will park the bike there. Okay. So, something like that. So, next one is parking allowance. Okay. Brackets you write. Brackets you write. In green color, I would say. Please write in green color. Up to parking allowance, my brackets you write. Up to. Two sixty five dollars per month up to two sixty five dollars per month regular color is exempt is exempt two sixty five dollars per month is exempt. Next.
next one we will write next prizes or rewards or awards prizes or rewards or awards and recognition prizes or rewards or awards or recognition prizes or rewards prizes not prizes p r i z e s prizes or rewards or awards or recognition ab isme two bullet points lagao इसमें टू सब बुलेट पॉइंट्स लिखो प्राइजेस और रिवॉर्ड्स और अवार्ड्स और रिकॉग्निशन तो इन दिस यू हैव टू सब बुलेट पॉइंट्स ओके द फर्स्ट सब बुलेट पॉइंट यू राइट अभी एम्प्लॉयर अवार्ड देने के बाद अभी उसमें भी टैक्स है बोले तो जरा दर्द होता ना तो व्हाट द लॉ से इज हियर इज एग्जेम्प्ट एग्जेम्प्ट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट सब बुलेट पॉइंट Please write exempt green color up to sixteen hundred dollars. These amounts are important, boys. Okay, girls. Amounts are important. Okay, good to wait call. याद रख लेना. Only until the time you pass the examination. बाद में जय गोगल. जय गोगल. Okay. So exempt up to green color sixteen hundred dollars. Regular color. for for again green color again green color qualified plants qualified plants qualified plants no next one next sub bullet point exempt up to Exempt up to the red color. May you write four hundred dollars? Four hundred dollars. Regular color for for again red color. Non qualified plants. Non qualified plants. See, sometimes uh, company may say, you know, you get this much sales, uh, this much revenue. This is going to be the bonus. Now, not everyone can be in sales. Okay. Now, you may be somebody who is excellent in research work. or you may be somebody who is excellent in designing work in presentation mis reporting you may be somebody who is wonderful in building the crm may yeah, uh, monitoring the website traffic or somebody who is uh, excellent in digital marketing and all may yeah. i mean each one has their own strengths somebody may be a crowd puller you are doing an event and you talk you know people will come we used to do events in colleges and all i mean we had team you know we used to talk and they used to come crowd pullers you know they can get the attention easily i mean each one in the team you know has their own uh, strengths everybody was not bheem in pandavas bhima and everybody was not arjuna also yeah everybody had their own uh, strengths weaknesses and all so that's how we went here also okay qualified plan uh could be for different now non qualified plan will be different okay but for each one of them there must be a reward based on the kras that they said right next allowances next main point main point allowances 
food, housing, brackets you write, food, food, housing, etc. Allowances, food, housing, etc. Next, see whether uh, you are an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, I mean some practicing chartered accountants are also there, uh, people who are CPAs also who are watching us uh, or freshers or whosoever, you know, uh, we believe in Jesus, okay. Um, in Christianity, there is something called as tithe, tithe. So what it means is 10% uh, of your income, you are uh, supposed to give to God, godly purposes or you know, godly priests and all, 10%. So now what I also tell you know to my students, uh, even in you know Islam also, when they slaughter the goat, you know, I mean Bakrit ke time pe, a good Muslim or person who abides by the law, uh, that's put in Quran and all. He is supposed to give. He is supposed to share that meat. Share the meat. Okay. You are supposed to share. You cannot keep it yourself. Even in our Indian festivals also, when you do, I mean, good old days, yeah, Pindimantalu, you know, all those uh, homemade dishes that you do, you don't keep it for yourself. You give it to your relatives. You give it to your friends. You give it to your neighbors. Now. Everything is, you know, ready-made. They are not doing at home. And given the busy schedule and all, everybody is occupied. But uh, mother times or grandmother times, people used to prepare everything in house and they used to share. Okay. So the point that I was trying to make is coming back to tithes. Okay. So ten percent we invest. I mean, every month we are supposed to give to God. Okay, all for godly purposes. I say <clears throat> that every year. 10% of your income must go to your education. Hmm? Leaders are readers. Into it. Leaders are readers. You want to earn, then you have to learn. When slogans go, they are real. I mean, person like Bill Gates, if he's reading 50 books in a year, I mean, who are we? Warren Buffett. Five, six hours, he will just study under Warren Buffett. I mean, they're all old. We never know, you know, when God can call them home. But even at this age, they want to study. They want to protect what God has blessed them with. So how do we protect our intellect? How do we upgrade ourselves? So you have to spend some time all by yourself. You watch all the shit, all the wonderful entertainment. Then take time for yourself also. I mean, if you believe in God, spend time with the creator for some time. Learn the good values that your religious faith teaches you. And try to put it in practice and bear the fruit, bear the result. So every year, you know, as an ILEAD Academy alumni, and as a future enrolled agent, I urge you that you should spend at least 10% of your annual income every year, every year on education. Keep improving. There are so many things that keep coming every year. Yeah? Right? You learn the work wherever you are putting your uh, money. Mind, make sure that you learn the art, learn the work properly. And then try to practice that, demonstrate that work at your workplace, that learning at your workplace and the results will come. Keep learning. Don't stop learning. So take a oath that every year 10% of my income. So now no income. That's an excuse. Okay. We got income from you, even in this lockdown. Yes, it's an opportunity for us. Yeah, 
we have opportunities so you can also create opportunities for yourself okay just keep doing what you are doing faithfully and rest all god will take care so next point is education program assistance education program assistance brackets you right brackets you right up to up to dollar up to dollar green color will right 5250 dollars 5250 dollars regular color <coughs> is exempt is exempt is exempt and as an employer also just make sure that you know you are uh, <coughs> training your people when you see that you know they are not uh, they are talented but they are not getting the result it means they are not interested in their job or they are not interested in learning in upgrading they want to rest on past glory um, my konu malum my kaisa kara malum my kya kya kara malum अगर मालूम नहीं है कोई बोले तो मालूम चल रहा है आपके बारे में तो आप मालूम नहीं है जनाब <laughs> कुछ करो आप कुछ करो कि आपका नाम आपसे पहले पहुंच जाए राइट right? आपके पहले आपका नाम पहुंच जाना सो कीप लर्निंग यू नो योर टीम योर एम्प्लॉज टीच दम यू नो सो मच गुड सो मेनी गुड स्टाफ यू नो ऑन द इंटरनेट टीच दम ओके and personally i would suggest spend at least you know like 24 minutes in a day learning something or the other something good or the other 24 minutes in a day kuch to bhi sunna can i tell you about uh, uh, the 2020 20 rule uh, did i tell them the 2020 20 rule ha yeah. <clears throat> sunna what is this 2020 20 year old okay so i happen to go to uh, switzerland zurich and uh, do you know who this person is do you know the author of the book the monk who sold his ferrari uh there's a highly tax llc okay he is the co-founder of uh, apple steve wozniak now uh is our hero yeah <clears throat> you know this man of course it's written there robin s sharma the writer of the book the monk who sold his ferrari speaker excellent speaker on leadership and personal mastery so i was one of the students of uh, robin sharma in that summit the titan uh, summit in 2016 now there was one thing you know that i learned now his new book you know the 5 am club that's very very popular so you can uh, buy this book or i think you can also get a e book wonderful book and uh, if you are a busy guy you get the book summary also go to youtube type the 5 am club summary okay <clears throat> these are not mad people or people who just motivate they they collect money and motivate people they have billionaires sitting in the class billionaires and a kurchuna garden company will go in server jahan baithe hain wahi baith ke companies khareed lete wo log multi multi millionaires multi billionaires and all okay now the, here he taught us something called as 2020 20 rule okay in your notes in the last page you know some gyan i gave this is subject eppudu undede this gyan is important for you to become a better human being better person and better worksman 
you are an artist created by the lord almighty artist artist okay ekkada unna dunya alante so we call this as 2020 20 rule so what he says is the first one hour okay of the day is very very important the very first one hour after you get up that is important okay so what he says is the first hour that you get up you must exercise it means you have to do some physical activity you know exercise anangane do some physical activity wherein sweat comes from your head i mean unna degane you can run uh, you can do push ups sit ups right ab crunches mountain climbers squats planks chaalune body weight exercise on google lo vorte meeru you will get to see and uh, i think if you go to my facebook page i made a and the in my personal you know nandakumar kb uh, video section we came up with something called as sams sams uh, me and my daughter we did this you know for the few lockdown exercises you know p is for push ups or plank s is for squats utak baitak a is for your ab crunches then l could be your leg raises leg raises or lunges also then m is for mountain climbers okay watch that video to see what that is okay and s is scissors okay kaala to netle itla nanu so all these are some body weight exercises okay urke na sofa la kuchoni popcorn lo potato chips ante idi kuda right so it becomes difficult so try to exercise we can at least control i mean see did a grandfather times or you know dad times did they see 20 year old 30 year old dying of heart attack and all now we see so many people die of heart attack exam fail aithe heart attack love la fail aithe heart attack boss pk aithe heart attack i mean there is i mean cardiologists also get heart attack google it you will see you will see my sister in law is also do- doctor in kims we get to hear you know so many things about uh, all these things so what he says is the first 20 minutes and the first one hour is important this is the first one hour okay so first 20 minutes of the day you must exercise antara man he says exercise first 20 minutes no matter what you have to exercise i mean once me fresh i your fresh up and you had your little snacks chai jo bhi hai then you got to go to gym or your you know space where you have your uh, where you can do a little physical activity you know all this whatever i have told or you know your own exercises the, but the point is the sweat should come from head so when the sweat comes from head it releases something called as bdnf brain derived neurotropic factor ante your cells will be very active you will work less time but you will be very very productive very well very productive anna ji sir abraham lincoln abraham lincoln he said if you give me 6 hours to chop a tree i will be sharpening my axe 4 hours an anna 6 hours iste anta he used to sit and sharpen the axe 4 hours anta pitch and peel aina kan peele anken abraham lincoln anna okay so first 20 minutes you got to exercise and the sweat should come out of your head and next 20 minutes he says learn learn or listen i mean spend you know time on something wherein you listen to something that is good you learn something good 20 minutes and uh, in our childhood you know when mom and dad used to get up they used to play venkateshwar suprabhatam or they used to listen to the news all that is good but now for our regular regular day what is the daily food that we receive the inner man what is the inner man receiving what is the mind man what is the soul man receiving what is the spirit man receiving even unnai whatever be the faith the inner man is there how are what are you feeding your inner man with that one ni burra ki ni aatma ki what are you feeding that is important and then the last 20 minutes he says plan journal antadanmat 
plan your day what are you going to do today that meeting this meeting that call this email okay that presentation this conversation edu na plan is for it worked for me i still do it i still do it and i encourage you to do it 2020 20 rule one of the uh, i mean most uh, hot sellers in the 15 million copies are sold okay anyways as a student na came commission rat bhai mere ko na ho rak pena na farak padu it doesn't matter to me but it's a wonderful book you know so i very strongly recommend that you buy the book read it and please make you know reading a habit if you are reading some religious book of your faith wonderful i think all knowledge you know treasures are hidden in that but still besides that see religious books they tell us what to do what not to do but leaders experts they tell us how to do how to do okay so that was 2020 20 rule chalo we were on education program assistance okay up to 5250 dollars excluded and then we'll just write these points and we will close then retirement benefits retirement benefits is also an income from the employer retirement benefits next stock options stock options stock options stock options okay see as an employee you must try to get salary your bonus incentive profit sharing and all and then you should also have equity in the company all right na as you grow oh salary salary 10% high 15% high dantliness avod you should you sh- your mind should not be restricted only to that i mean you should have a share in the revenues i mean talk to your boss in such a way and be that in the company that you bring the revenue to the company who so see in the entire p and l account there is only one influencer what is that there is only one influencer in the entire p and l account who is that sales sales rest all are over it p and l account this go edana you prati everything will be expense only only sales so whatever you do whatever crap you do you have to produce revenue family lo you know even in your family you got to earn income yeah daddy car we want daddy house we want ana idi kavali that we want we want everything where does it come from dudu kavali right revenue revenue matters Re- not money revenue matters wealth not income wealth wealth matters okay so try to learn sales sales wherever you are so when you are growing don't da- just restrict to salary have a performance linked pay cheppu ni boss ki in the revenue is 5% is around 10% is around can i have a 5% stake in the revenue can i have a 10% stake in the revenue okay if i do this the same can i get some shares you know when i retire that's what is stock options that's what is stock options how do you think you know the big companies like infosys i mean people who are working in us taxation don't you see people getting stock shares and all incentive stock options employee stock option plan and this sir why do you think they give they want to retain the employee inke venen patko votadu the talent would be hand picked by somebody so how do you retain that employee by giving him the right pay the best pay that you can handle that fellow's ego and you keep and if you are a productive employee and not just a you know talking employee uh, grumbling complaining mourning weeping yeah uh, gossiping employee stop all those idiotic things less talk more output jo bhi hai ding le upi funny <laughs> output should speak tarata employee stock options next insurance 
insurance all these are income from employment insurance or third party sick pay or third party sick pay next compensation compensation in case of injuries or sickness compensation in case of injuries or sickness next dependent care benefits next is dependent care benefits i think we i explained you know what is dependent care benefits we learned right yeah dependent care benefits in brackets you write in brackets you write in green color in green color please write up to up to Five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars for MFJ, MFJ, and red color you write, red color you write, two thousand five hundred dollars for MFS, two thousand five hundred dollars for MFS. Only green color, again green color. is exempt is exempt next reimbursement for moving expense reimbursements for moving expenses so you know in case you get a job you know let's say gurgaon or somewhere or pwc kolkata ay bangalore or ay cochin whatever uh, you can always negotiate you know you feel that need big four guy anybody is watching here <laughs> i'm not teaching them salary negotiation but uh, i think you know the students are able so they deserve it so you must be able to you know negotiate that with your prospective employer you must be able to ask them and to move from hyderabad to gurgaon hyderabad to kolkata pette beda paata saman lanni disko bol ante how much it will cost us right <laughs> so you have to hmm matlab kar you have to talk and negotiate that with your employer so reimbursement for moving expenses moving from one place to another place for work purposes huh? then work expense reimbursements work expense reimbursements i mean in my article ship days you know we used to have the bank audits and all your bank audits ochne ante pandage festival for us when there is bank audits you know we used to go and get all royal treatment <laughs> royal food <laughs> the bigger the bank the nice meal we would have we would have you know after lunch we don't feel like working on so we used to postpone the work till 3:30 4 o'clock and then 4 o'clock we used to go for lunch you know? so that we can log of course we used to start at 9:30 9:30 to 6:30 used to be so 45 minutes used to go in lunch only so if my principal is watching this video <laughs> as seniors and as we used to plan like that anyways there has to be a little fun and uh, mischief in life okay next transportation allowance transportation allowance transportation allowance
नेक्स्ट फॉरन इनकम फॉरन इनकम फॉरन इनकम I think I told you, you know, yesterday we were uh, discussing the scope of income and our Raju Ramu example, our Nagendra example also. This box fourteen, yeah. Normally, it has the foreign income and all. Foreign income. We discuss right for a, a citizen or resident, the global income will come to tax, right? Next. employer provided life insurance employer provided life insurance employer provided life insurance brackets in green color group term group term group term exempt up to exempt up to $50,000 next only three adoption income sorry adoption assistance adoption assistance i mean sometimes you know when you have workers who are very very depressed uh because uh they don't have kids or something like that they want to adopt somebody at least uh, but uh, not able to uh, you know fund that also but they want kid they cannot fund that uh, adoption also employer is helping uh, adoption and assistance uh that is also you know counted as income next scholarships <laughs> scholarships an employer giving scholarships also i mean tatas they give scholarships ambanis they give scholarships then finally finally ananga navoddu hasna nahi okay tip income tip income you are writing your future 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 our notes kanna andanga undal me future ये नोट से भी बहुत खूबसूरत रहना आपका फ्यूचर या फाइन सो वील ट्राइ टू स्टॉप हियर टूडे दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन फॉर टूडे ग्रॉस इनकम देन द वेज इनकम वी अंडरस्टूड द डब्ल्यू टू एंड एंड टूमोरो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दी वेज इनकम या थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टूडे ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट प्लीज रिवाइज प्रैक्टिस प्रॉपरली एंड रिमेंबर यू हैव टू पास एंड बिकम एन एनरोल्ड एक्सेंट या दिस टाइम इज वर्थ इट ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट fine so hearty hearty welcome i believe my voice is loud clear and absolutely audible okay so people before we get into section 2 on the incomes i thought you know why not quickly revise what we did in section 1 okay in section 1 we walked through i lead part 1 index i showed you what is the index and all then we walked through the prometric se part 1 index i'm sure you are aware of that website and all then i gave you the break up of ea part 1 examination questions examination will have 100 questions of which 85 questions will be valued and 15 will be experimental and then we learned about pti and application and those who have still not applied for pti and please remember that for writing the examination you need preparer tax identification number which mudduga the acronym is ptin so get the km team's help knowledge management team's help in getting that ptin 
because it will take like three or four weeks also and uh, sometimes you may get very quickly too. Then you should also connect with the KM team on scheduling the examination with the Prometric Center. The examination must be taken in a Prometric Center. So people who are watching us uh, outside of Hyderabad, please check. Now that the Corona rules are also being relaxed, we still do not have any updates on where the examination will be held but uh, please stay connected with the KM team. Then the best part of this examination is that you get the passing scores immediately, immediately, no waiting period. Okay, And the passing score will be from 105 to 130. Now for 85 questions, assuming you answer all 85 questions right, then you get 130 marks. So for you to get that basic 105 marks, you have to answer at least 70 questions right. Then all that we suggest you to do is bank on the class notes because we give the best of the class notes, best notes on the individual taxation for the enrolled agent examination. This is the best notes somebody can give and we have the best MCQs in place and above us, if there's anything that you still want to refer to, there's only one material that is IRS publication 17. But for you to pass the examination, our material, the class notes and the MCQs are more than, more than, more than enough. Having said that, we get into the section 1, page 1 of form 1040 overview. Okay. Now in this, we cover chapters by chapter. Each section will have some chapters. And here is the first chapter that we did. USA topography is what we did. And in USA topography, we learned about the state abbreviations. We learned about the state abbreviations, 50 plus 2 states. Then we learned about the tax-free states. There are 9 tax-free states, right? Fast NW is the acronym that we gave. What is Fast NW? Florida, Alaska, South Dakota, and then TNW twice. Tennessee, Texas, Nevada, New Hampshire, Washington, and then Wyoming. Then state subject to city taxes. What are the states that are subject to city taxes? K M N O P, Kentucky, Michigan, New York, Ohio, and then Pennsylvania. Then states subject to county taxes. Here we came up with the acronym I I M, Indiana, Iowa, and then Maryland. Then we went on to learn the time zone map. We understood that there are six time zones in the US, right? Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern, and then you have the two islands, Alaska and then Hawaii. That was on topography. Then we went on to learn the accounting periods and accounting methods. Just go back and just take a look at your US topography notes once. Okay. Then we went on to learn accounting periods and then accounting methods. Now, in the accounting periods, we looked at these two types of years. Now, what is an accounting period? It is basically the tax year and tax year are of two types, calendar year and then you have fiscal year. Now, calendar year is something that begins on Jan 1st and ends on December 31st. But fiscal year is something that does not end, that does not end on December 31st. Then the types of accounting methods, there are two types of accounting methods. One is cash method, the other one is accrual method. Now in the accounting methods, we wrote that table. That table is very important, okay. Income, expenses, right, cash and then accrual. In case of cash method, income is recognized only when it is received and expense is recognized only when it is paid. Now, in case of accrual, income is recognized only when it is earned and expenses are realized only when it is incurred. Then we went on to learn about the constructive receipt of income. We understood the meaning. We understood the examples debt cancellation right i mean there should not be any restriction on that then somebody else collecting on our behalf the garnished wages the bank taking it off all those are constructive receipt of income and then comes 
exception there was one small exception that we wrote series c bonds okay only until maturity uh, only at the time of maturity it will be considered as income but until then you got to ignore it and then we went on to learn about the forms two types of forms right the change of accounting period and then the accounting method there are two types of forms one is form 1128 and the other one is form 3115 then we went on to learn about the due dates due dates every form filing will have a due date now in the due dates we first learned about the individual tax forms that is form 1040 this is for us citizens residents or nationals and then we went on to learn about 1040 nr which is for non residents and then we learned about 1040 x 1040 x okay this is for amending and we wrote the timeline also for this right three years from the original uh, due date or two years from the date the person paid the tax whichever is later okay 1040 and 1040 and up the due date is april 15th and in case you are not able to file your taxes on april 15th you can request for additional time by filing an extension by requesting additional six months and that is going to be on october 15th and the extension request is made on form 4868 then we went on to learn about the business tax forms i think i told you already when you are doing business taxes remember always you know this five uh, types of uh, you know business taxes that you need to know one as a sole proprietor i mean this is going to be in part two but just to you know create that interest that curiosity that and also you know in case you are already there in business taxes you know this already okay one is sole proprietor next one is llc llc or then multiple member llc or partnership and then s corp and then c corp these five things are very very important when it comes to business taxes now here in business tax forms we learn about 1120 1120s form 1065 and then 7004 now 1120 is something for c corporations 1120s is for s corporations 1065 is for the partnerships okay and 7004 is the extension period and i think i told you spl okay special past through entities are special and for them the three letters the due date is march 15 and if you want you know additional time to file those three tax returns take another six months and then uh, the due date will be september 15th but for c corporation the due date will be april 15th and form 7004 is the extension form for these business tax returns then we went on to learn the other tax forms also form 706 form 709 form 1041 and then form 990 form 706 is for estate form 709 is for gift tax return 1041 for estates and trusts and 990 is for tax exempt organizations then we went on to learn about the reporting forms f bar and then fatca foreign bank accounting report and then foreign account tax compliance act form 8938 this is applicable to US citizens and residents. F bar must be filed in case they have more than $10,000 outside of USA, and FATCA must be filed if they have more than $50,000 outside of USA. Then, extensions. Extensions, we looked at what if the taxpayer is in the USA, it gets six months, and extension is only for filing the return and not for paying the taxes. So, any due dates, I mean, any tax dues must be paid you know on or before the due date next for the taxpayer who is outside the usa in case he has his main place of business or you know is serving in the uh, military or you know something like that armed force or something then he gets automatic two months extension and the taxpayer is in combat zone i think uh, we came up with a table there uh, regular due days uh, you know 180 days from the last day the uh, soldier or the taxpayer was in the combat zone and extended due date is three and a half months from the first day you know the uh, person was in the combat zone then we went on to learn about just help me you know in case i am not <laughs> going fine okay and penalties is going to be of uh, two types 
failure to file penalty and then failure to pay penalty failure to file penalty also we had a table okay five percent per month and then failure to pay penalty 0.5 percent per month and then both are going to be uh, the max is going to be 25 percent and uh, then uh, what did we write ha huh. Uh, ext extension is only for filing uh, that's uh, not for payment i think we wrote that and in failure to pay penalty we wrote that you know in case uh, in case you know the extension is taken within the due date all the taxes are paid at least 90 percent of the taxes are paid then there and the extension form form 4868 is filed within the due date then this penalty can be avoided and also in any situation where both the penalties are involved then that penalty must be reduced from this penalty then we went on to learn about the filing status okay filing status so people who have just joined or who are watching us from here in the live session okay this is just a snapshot for you so that you don't feel like a non-resident <laughs> in our class so filing status is of five types is of five types first one is single you know it okay unmarried or divorced then married filing jointly somebody who is married and husband and wife they both come together for filing the return a curiosity may arise in a dirty mind sir you said husband and wife what if both are same sex <laughs> what if both are same sex okay even then same sex marriages are also considered as marriage and they can still file a joint return and then married filing separately married filing separately in case they do not agree or they want to be you know individually responsible or they have high incomes or something like that then <clears throat> they can use mfs as the filing status and then comes head of household okay head of households the bada bhai types who takes care of the family you do not become the head of the family just because you are father or you are bada bhai or something only when you do your responsibilities properly you become the head of the family and that's what is very technically said you know provide more than 50 percent the dependent must stay with you for at least six months you know and all those things conditions are listed there and qualifying widower with dependent child actually it was with the dependent child now they have made it as qualifying widower now this is only for the two years only for two years you know following the year of death only for two years following the year of death even in the year of death one can use mfj or mfs that's it on the filing status then we went on to learn about dependents in dependents there are two types qualifying child and then qualifying relative now in order to consider somebody as qualifying child there are four tests four tests that need to be satisfied relationship test age test residency test and then support test okay now in relationship test i think uh, we wrote that right we split it into two uh, child then brother or sister then own uh, step adopted grand and then foster child right not foster child foster child okay and then we wrote about brother and sister own step in half then age test we said you know normally it should be below 19 years and then if he's a full-time student he must be below 24 years and if the person is physically or mentally challenged or differently able then there is no age limit then we went on to learn about the residency test residency test we said you know that the person must be a u.s citizen or national or he must be somebody who has stayed in u.s for at least 183 days even a child who is born and dead during the year will still be considered as resident for this purposes then support test the provider parent or whosoever the provider must have taken at least 50 percent of the living expenses of the child that's it then comes qualifying relative there are four tests that need to be satisfied not a qualifying child you must make sure that that the relative is not your chin to bunty bubbly right he can be your parent or in-laws or any of your maternal or paternal relatives and then gross income test gross income test we must make sure that the income of the person is at least less than four thousand four thousand two hundred dollars must be less than four thousand two hundred dollars and then residency test and support test are going to be the same as we discussed in qualifying child now here there were some important forms 
a custodian parent in case of a divorce a custodian parent meaning the parent who has the custody of the child can allow the non custodian parent to claim the child and that is done on form 8332 and in case of multiple support deduction i think we discussed that right mere paas ma hai yeah if two brothers are taking care of the mother then they can claim the deduction by filing form 2120 fine so the next chapter was number 8 social security number social security number here the best part the best part about social security number is that it confers social security benefits it means that you know uh, from a from the monthly pay you know every month the fica taxes are deducted fica taxes are nothing but social security taxes and then medicare taxes all these taxes you know together are deposited in the social security benefits account with the social security administration and this is paid to the person at the end of his retirement death or disability whichever is earlier and ssn is a nine digit number and it does not begin with nine okay that is what we learned on ss and the application is made on form ss 5 and then we went on to learn about individual taxpayer identification number itin and here we learned about form w7 we learned that it, this is also a nine digit number and the fourth digit is either 7 or 8 or 9 and this is primarily 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 for the people who do not have ss who are not in employment uh could be a non working spouse i hate saying non working you know that non working spouse or non earning dependents could be the kids the qualifying child or the qualifying relative okay and uh, i think i encouraged you to watch that video on youtube or on the facebook about um the you know uh, things you need to know about the it and i am i hope and believe i believe that you have watched that video so all the very best then we went on to learn about the residential status in residential status we said that an individual is categorized into two either citizen or national or an alien and alien is again subclassified into three resident alien non resident alien and then dual status alien and in resident alien we said that there are the word resident has eight letters and there are eight situations in which a person can be treated as resident so let's look at this one by one the first one is green card holder anybody who has a green card will be treated as resident and then married to us citizen married to us citizen will also be treated as resident and then somebody who is on employment visa h1 or l1 and who has stayed in us for at least 183 days even that person will be treated as resident and then student visa somebody who has been on student visa for at least 5 years that person will also be treated as resident and then we went on to learn about uh, substantial presence test now in substantial presence test there are two tests that are involved here right at least 31 days test and then at least 183 days test now at least 31 days test what that what does that mean it means that the taxpayer must be in us in the current year for at least 31 days and that need not be in a row and then comes at least 183 days test now here when we are doing 183 days test i told you spt p s p t p past p past it takes past into consideration so what do we do the number of days the person stayed in us in the current year into 1 by 1 the number of days the person stayed in us in the previous year into 1 by 3 the number of days the person stayed in us in the previous previous year into 1 by 6 the sub total of all these three must be at least 183 days and for a person to be considered as a resident under substantial presence test both a and b must be satisfied then we went on to learn about first year choice test people thought that this was tough but our students proved that it is very very easy to understand and there are only three conditions three tests that needs to be satisfied one at least 31 days test what does that mean it means the person must be in us 
in current year for at least 31 day the only thing is it must be in a row then we learned about spt fyct spt for the next year spt for the future year fyct future year future year f is for future then at least 75 percent test then the number of days now this is a little formula the number of days actually present actually present in the usa from the first day first day of the 31 day period and then the denominator would be the total number of days from the first day of the period to the last day of the tax year and that is a by b into 100 that has to be at least 75 percent next comes the non-resident spouse election 7 and 8 i mean number 7 and number 8 situation wherein a person can be treated as resident section 6013g election and then section 6013h election now what is section 6013g election here here the tp is considered resident resident and spouse is considered a non-resident i mean if during the tax year taxpayer if at the end of the tax year sorry if at the end of the tax year taxpayer was resident and spouse was a non-resident then the resident taxpayer can choose to treat the non-resident spouse as resident isn't it we, you remember that smiley that we put then we said they can file mfj in form 1040 only thing they have to attach a joint declaration statement then we went on to learn section 6013 h election in this case if at the end of the year both are non-residents both are non-residents but because they satisfy the fyct for the next year next year they can make an election to be treated as residents for the current year and they have to file a joint declaration statement that's all and uh, in case of dual status alien dual status alien i think i told you i didn't make a slide on that so in case of dual status alien i think i told you that we have to file a 10 if at the end of the year he is a resident then you have to file a 1040 return 1040 on our statement but if at the end of the year he was non-resident then you have to file a 1040 uh, nr return and then 1040 statement then we went on to understand the taxation of income in taxation of income we said uh, we put that table right for a citizen or resident worldwide income the global income is taxable and for non-resident only the income earned only the income earned in usa is taxable and i think we took the example of raju ramu apna nagendra yeah all these examples i think uh, we have taken in that yeah we spoke about the foreign tax credit and all then we went on to learn about the signing of tax returns in the signing of tax returns uh, we drew that table we understood what is a form 8879 we understood that the taxpayer can have a self-select pin that is ip pin that is identity protection pin or he can allow the practitioner to generate the pin using ero electronic return originator and then efin electronic filing identification number that is something must for every practitioner to e-file the tax return and then for paper filing uh, the paper filing situations too are very common uh, itin cases form w7 is used in that case you have to paper file the return and then 1040x also as on today 1040x is uh, not officially confirmed that it can be e-filed but the plans are that it may soon be filed even 1040 nr initially it used to be paper filing but you know i think just two or three years ago it was allowed e-filing similarly we hope that in these pandemic times even this becomes uh, e-filing it takes off you know so much burden then we went on to learn about the types of relief uh, injured spouse claim and then innocent spouse relief injured spouse relief if one of the spouse is not able to get her refund just because of the co-applicant you know of the other spouse you know past tax dues or something like that then in that case she can make an application for injured spouse claim and then we went on to learn about innocent spouse relief i think i told you the story from shivaji right even our cameraman helped us on that day <laughs> uh, 
in case you have under reported income not reported your income or if you have done something you know uh, in contravention uh, to the guidelines over claim the deductions or something like that then uh, you get to uh, claim this innocent spouse relief and these two forms are something that you can make a note of form 8379 for injured spouse claim and form 8857 for innocent spouse relief now with this you are no longer an innocent person no longer an ignorant person i think this is the time you should be ignited and not ignorant okay and get started prepare practice and pass and this is the end of section one Having said this, we will get into section number 2. Okay. Fine. So, I am curious to know, go to menti.com. I mean, in life, what kind of incomes you need to succeed in life? What is it for living? What is it for living? What is it for living? We can earn or eat or eat or eat or eat or eat. What are the sources of income? Go to menti.com and use that code and please type sources of income. Roti, kapda, matan, internet. Okay. Uske liye kya chahiye bhai? O pay karne ke liye paisa kaise kama hoge? Working a job. Yes. Oh. Somebody typed very technical. Very good. Salary, rental, other income, business income, dividends. Very good. Nice. Inka, what else? Interest income, good. Being a self-publisher, being a self-published author. Yeah, you can say royalty. Yeah. Online teaching. <laughs> That's again a business or a profession. Investments. Yes, good. Make it interactive, please. Okay. It's already boring for me. <laughs> I see you in the camera. <laughs> So, if you are for those of you who are studying in early morning hours or uh, at the middle of the night all alone while your family members are uh, sleeping, my hug and my pat to you, okay? <laughs> all the way west. <laughs> Do well. Okay, fine. Let's take a look at the incomes, okay? What does the law say about the incomes? When we look at form uh, 1040, when we look at form 1040, we see here, you know, this is form 1040. For those of you who are watching us only today, see, be rest assured, uh, people, that uh, I try to teach class in such a way that wherever you listen from, you understand, okay? <laughs> uh, so, this is 1040. 1040 is the tax return, main tax return, okay? And these are the different incomes. I think it is visible. Can this be Yeah, these are the different incomes. Okay, wages, salaries, tips. We will learn all that. Wages, salaries, tips. It means related to employment. Then tax exempt interest or taxable interest. Now tax exempt interest, taxable interest means the same. Then qualified dividends, right? Qualified dividends, ordinary dividends. Then IRA distributions. Now, IRA distributions means individuals retirement arrangement. Individual ka retirement arrangement. Just like how we have, you know, LIC zindagi ke saath bhi, zindagi ke baad bhi, right? <laughs> or the HDFC, sir, uta ke jiyo. <laughs> I'm sure most of you are in financial planning and then retirement planning also, you know it better than me. Uh, pensions and annuities, all these are related to retirement income, okay? And then social security benefits, 
Social security benefits, I think we discussed when we did SSN and then capital gains or losses. Capital gains or losses, any capital asset you had for at least one year and then you sell it after one year, that is treated as a capital gain or loss. Then other incomes, any other incomes you have. So this is how you know an income is uh, categorized. And then comes, uh, it says other income from schedule one, line nine. Okay, so let's see what is schedule one. We have to go to a earlier all this used to be in a single form. Apna Trump came and tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck he cut off and he divided and ruled. Yeah. Schedule one, okay. Additional income and then adjustments to income. Now these are the different incomes here. Additional income, okay. What are these additional incomes? Taxable refunds. When you file the tax return, what happens? Three things happen. You get a refund or you pay taxes or nothing happens. Employer deducts only how much you have to pay. That is called effective tax planning, right? TDS is equal to tax liability. Now, in case you get refund, that is also taxable. Of course, federal tax refunds are exempt, okay, except in a state of Iowa. Anyway, state taxes we are not going to discuss because enrolled agent examination is only about federal taxes, okay. So, practically, federal taxes are exempt. And then comes Ali money received. Ali money means any amount that you receive in the event of divorce, wherein one spouse makes payment to another. Then business income, whatever income you make from business, other gains, any other gain, any other property sold off and then rental real estate, you know that, right? Rent, rent from the property, then comes royalties like what Tulsi was saying, you know, writing a book or singing or whatsoever. Then comes partnerships, S corporation, trust, any income, you know, from the pass through entities is also, you know, the same. And then comes farm income means agricultural income agricultural income <laughs> then comes unemployment compensation now in us what happens is now i mean so many thousands of people i, I last when i lost our 600000 uh, people who applied for uh, unemployment compensation in usa i mean because of this pandemic uh, uh, things uh, more than you know, I mean, close to how many people applied? It was like 600,000 plus. Oh my god. Oh. 4.4 million Americans filed last week. Wow. Last week. This article is more than one month old. Wow. May 15th. April 2nd, 6.65 million people. Oh. Fortune magazine says 6.6 .6 million people. My God. Tough times, the tough ones will prevail. It's not a dialogue, that's a statement in itself. It's a statement in itself. So I was uh, talking in one of the TDA sessions, and uh, my little learning that I drew from my business uh, mentor. Patrick Bet David, he was telling that, you know, there are two types of leader. One is a wartime leader and second one is a peacetime leader. Now, what peacetime leaders, let's discuss. Okay, peacetime leader is somebody who wants everything to be arranged, everything to be put in place and then he will make a beginning. Let everything set down. Pota ma, pota pani pota. Once, you know, let the lockdown be over. We don't know when the lockdown is going to be over, okay. Go to job. Okay, study this. Yeah, after lockdown. After lo you have seen some useless people like that, no? Right? 
So these people come into those categories, right? Peacetime leaders. Now, wartime leader is somebody when there is a crisis, what best he can do? What best he can do? So let's say everything is with floods, at least the neighbor's child, at least, you know, the somebody who is right next to his door, at least he will try to save that person. Similarly, even in the company also, whether the company is drown, drowning or whatsoever. I felt very sad watching that video, you know, wherein a drunkard is lifting up our economy. Drinking is not bad. I am not opposed to it. If that is your habit, go ahead and do it. But a great nation like India should not be lifted up by a drunkard, is what I feel. It's a shame on us if a drunkard is reviving our Indian economy. Our Indian economy must be revived by the educated and responsible citizens of this nation, by a responsible member of the family, not by a drunkard. So I urge you today as your teacher and as your coach that you should be responsible in your family, in your workplace and in whatever that you have taken up. It should not be fancy or it should not be a force that somebody propelled you to do it. If you have taken it up, finish it. And I would love to enjoy and be part of that, be of that part of success in your life. Be responsible. Okay, coming back. So, so many unemployment applications, we hope and pray that, you know, uh, things will revive. So, these are the different incomes, you know, that we see on the form 1040. And uh, we have seen the other incomes also. Wages, interest, dividend, IRA, pension, social security benefits, capital gain, other income. And then comes refund, early money, business income, other gains, rental income, farm income, unemployment compensation and more. Okay, we will learn all this, you know, step by step. So, we will go to a fresh page. Fresh page, okay, leave one page after section 1. Because when you are doing MCQs, in case you get any new point, okay, do not panic. <laughs> we have covered as much as possible. In case you see something was missing, please make a note of that. We give you MCQs, you know, so much so that it is tough for you to fail. It is tough for you to fail. Practice it twice. Read the theory properly. See, don't uh, try to memorize anything. Let me tell you, even I don't memorize. If I don't have these things before me, you ask me what is schedule 1, you know, line number 8, line number 12, 13 and all that. I mean, not needed. <laughs> Go to Google, the form is right here, you are able to see, why should I remember? My phone has all the people that I need, the numbers are there, but why should I remember all the people's phone numbers? Why should I waste my memory on that? Who is going to give me a certificate for that and what is the use of that certificate? What is relevant? Let us try to study that. Be proud that you are studying something which is relevant for the industry, relevant for the workplace, relevant for the market now. You are really studying both the course that you have selected also. Not that you have enrolled in ILE. The course that you have selected is a license. It's a license. Be encouraged. Okay. And uh, having said this, uh, let's go ahead. Fine. So go to a fresh page. Put the heading section 2. Section 2. Section 2. Incomes. Section 2. Incomes. Section 2 incomes, okay. Chapter 1, 
section 2 okay heading i mean main heading is section 2 now we are doing section 2 just like how we did section 1 and in that we did chapter similarly now we are in section 2 in this chapter 1 chapter 1 gross income grass car gross gross income okay so now gross income okay so all these incomes that we have learned we'll just try to write okay so now in gross income what we will try to write is chapter one gross income okay in that uh, question is uh, uh, we can say what incomes are taxable okay question number one chapter one question number one what incomes are taxable or what comes in gross income anything I mean, what is gross income? What is gross income? Hmm. What incomes are taxable or what is gross income? Anything is the same. Okay, let's write in that points. Uh, let's write numbers in that okay numbers numbers in that or alphabets also okay. wages salaries and tips wages salaries and tips Wages, salaries, and tips. We wrote the table also in this chapter, right? Earlier. Okay, no problem. Fine. Wages, salaries, and tips. Next. Okay, uh, let me show you the uh, source document also for this. I will give you a table uh, separately. Or uh, Let's write off first, okay. Let's write off all the incomes and then we will try to know the source documents. I mean, for salary here also in India, what happens? You get the salary, you get the pay stub, it gets created in the bank. Again, at the end of the year, what happens? You get form 16. You get form 16 okay the same thing happens here also one wages salaries and tips two interest income two interest income three dividend income interest income then dividend income next iras pensions and annuities iras we will be doing a separate chapter individual retirement arrangement as of now you just write iras IRAs, pensions, and then annuities. IRA, pension, and then annuities. Next, social security benefits. Social security benefits. I explain, I'll explain all of this to you. Social security benefits. Social security benefits. Then state and local tax refunds. State and local tax refunds.
Okay, let's write cap K gain also. <laughs> Capital gains. Next, you write uh, business income. Business income. Business income. Ali money. Ali money. Ali money. Other gains. Other gains. Rents, royalties. Rents, royalties, next income from pass through entities, income from pass through T H R O U G H, income from pass through entity. Pass through entities, I think I told you, right? SPL, brackets you write SPL. <laughs> Income from pass through entities. S P L S corporation partnerships and then limited liability companies more than I mean multiple members LLC. Next comes farm income. Farm income. Next is unemployment compensation. Unemployment compensation. Next comes other income. Other income, commissions. Next one is commissions. Next, income from estates or trusts. Income from estates or trusts.
नेक्स्ट इनकम रिसीव्ड बाय लीगल हेयर इनकम रिसीव्ड बाय लीगल हेयर when does somebody receive you know when does the legal heir uh, receive the income only when the main person is gone right next gifts gifts नेक्स्ट इलीगल और अनलॉफुल इनकम इलीगल और अनलॉफुल इनकम आई मीन किसी को मारने के लिए भी तुम पैसे लो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट से पे टैक्स ऑन दैट सुपारी लिए ना कोका लिए ना टैक्स पे करो उसको आई मीन judging whether it is a crime or not that is that comes in the jurisdiction of indian penal code not the uh, income tax department this will say you know the black laundering money laundering ye black me black money and all jo bhi hai us pe bhi tum tax pay karo next gambling gambling speculation incomes gambling or lotteries or casino और हॉर्स रेसेस गैमलिंग और लॉटरीज और कैसिनोस कैसिनो रिमेंबर दैट गेम सी एस आई एन फॉर दोज ऑफ यू डू नॉट नो कैसिनो गेम्स दिस वन You must have seen in the movies, yeah, casinos. Then horse races, horse races, horse races. Next is hobby income. Next is hobby income. Hobby income, like photography, stamp collecting, coins collecting, painting, hobby. As long as it is not a profession, profession is different. If you are a painter uh, or an artist or photographer, videographer, that's a profession. But if you are just doing it as a hobby, that's different. Yeah, hobby income. So twenty three. we right right very good. i'll just read it once again wages salary sent interest income dividend income irs pensions and annuity social security benefits state and local tax refunds capital gains business income alimony other gains rents royalties income from pass through entities farm income unemployment compensation other income commissions income from estate or trust income received by legal heir gifts illegal or unlawful income then gambling or lotteries or casino or horse races and then hobby income so 22 yeah so these are the different types of incomes that is available for the mankind and we thought we survive only on salary <laughs> <laughs> Every time you feel hopeless, you know, see that there are so many income opportunities here. Now, just you take salary. There are so many companies. That video, you know, that I asked you to watch. Yeah, so many opportunities. Yeah, things will get better after the lockdown. Companies will open, but whom will they give the first preference to, or whom will they stop letting go? only the one who is talented one who is able one who is hard working one who is productive one who is able to bear fruits amidst famine fruits amidst 
Femi. Okay. Oh, what is that uh, movie I used to watch? You know, there was that. Uh, what is that movie? Aati kya kandala under Dun Amir Khan. A movie man. What is that movie? There used to be a movie. And uh, Gulam, I guess. Uh, yeah. In this movie, you know, uh, Amir Khan's dad. Amir Khan's dad. He tells a story, tells a dialogue. You know, Lehro me to koi bhi ter sakta hai. You just watch that, okay? Lehro me to koi bhi ter sakta hai, lekin asli insan wo hai jo un lehro ko chirte hoye aage varta hai. You know, I love that dialogue. Maybe you were watching Rani Mukherjee and Aarti Kya Kandala. <laughs> But besides that, I watch that also, and uh, it just. I just liked it. Yeah, lehro me to koi bhi tar sakta hai, lekin asli insan wo hai jo un lehro ko chhiete hue aage nikalta hai. So all the very best. Enjoy the ten minutes break. Okay, ten fifteen minutes, and we will resume, and we will start with wage income. Okay. Fine. So we learnt what is. Gross income. Uh, okay, to that gross income, I would also request you to add the following. Okay, some other incomes also. Uh, please add it there. <coughs> If the alphabets exhaust, uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Okay, uh, some more incomes. cryptocurrencies 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 or bitcoins bit B I T C O I N S bitcoins or virtual currencies. We will add these also. ये भी add कर लिए तो अच्छा है. Then cancelled debts. Cancelled debts. scholarships and grants scholarships and grants court or government awards kabhi kabhi dete hain hum bravery award yeah <laughs> that may be exempt but it should be reported in the tax return then barter income barter income barter income what do you mean by barter income it's like uh, let's say these premises okay uh i pay uh rent for this okay now let's say that rent is equal to the fees for ea training then the landlord says babu uh, you don't pay me rent for one month let my daughter study ea okay uncle. fine so did he receive the rent yes did i get the fees yes that is barter income next jury duty pay jury J U R Y, jury duty pay. Okay. Uh, Abdul Halim. Uh, 
Sir, there is no state taxes in individual taxes. I heard that it's very important for practical work. Uh, because people will work in two, three states and all states income need to report in every state. Sahi sunay aap, correct? Practically, state tax knowledge is also important. But for EA examination, we will be discussing only on federal taxes. We have something called as real-time preparation. So, in real-time preparation, you will learn 1040. Now, what is 1040 kya hai is what we are learning now. Now, how to prepare a 1040? So, when we teach you 1040, we will also teach you the different case scenarios. If the person is in two states, three states, kaisa reta, kya hai. Okay, so all that you will be learning in real time, not in uh, these sessions. Because yaha pe question bhi nahi aata hai exam mein. Bolo California mein kitna tax rate hai. Ah, oh, that topography also no one will ask you. Is this a tax free state? No one is going to ask you. Okay. Uh, I think you can share the image. Somebody ping, can you? I said barter income. The incomes are court or government awards, barter income, and then jury duty pay. Saujanya. Okay. Cool. So, those were the income lists, people. Now we will uh, go to the next one. Okay, now I will show you something. Okay, before I show you all, okay, no problem. Let's see this. I think I showed you this W2. Did I show them the W2 form? Okay. Okay, this is W2. W2. Wage and tax statement. Wage and tax statement. Okay, so if you see here. Uh, you can also watch on your system or laptop. Okay. Now, see, let's try to understand these boxes. Okay. Boxes. Employee social security number. Let's say you are the employee. Okay. So, your social security number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then comes employer identification number. You, as the employee, will have social security number. Employer will have employer identification number employer so let's say two seven this is also nine digits but two and seven this is how it will be then comes employer's name and address so let's say i leave tax llc then employee's first name and initial last name okay uh, employee we will say dipti Okay, so these are the five boxes. Then employee state, uh, employee address and zip code, address and all, employers address and all. Okay, the six boxes are clear. Employee social security number, zoom jam. Employee social security number, employer identification number, employer name, address and zip code, control number. God promise, even I don't know. Employee's first name and initial. And then employees address and then zip code. So next. Now comes boxes 1 to 20. Okay. The answer is Sunna sir. Wages, tips, other compensation. Wages. Okay. Now let's say 100,000 is the wages. I told you, you no, know, we should not say lakh. Lakh nai bolna. 100,000 dollars. Hundred thousand dollars. Now let's assume he is in ten percent bracket. I am going to assuming that he is in ten percent bracket. So what will you do? Ten thousand. Is pay ten thousand. Just assume for ease of maths. Okay. Those who have enrolled for uh, payroll tax course, <laughs> payroll taxation, they will know better. You know how these things are calculated. But for us, this is enough. Okay. 
ten thousand dollars. Now social security wages hundred thousand. Okay. Now watch this carefully. This the next box that you see the social security taxes. This is going to be six point two percent of box three. यानी इस पे ये इस पे था ओके बॉक्स टू वॉज ऑन बॉक्स वन बॉक्स फोर इज ऑन बॉक्स थ्री हाउ मच सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स थ्री यानी कितना सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड इज दिस क्लियर इसी को सोशल सिक्योरिटी टैक्सेस बोलते ना कमिंग टू मेडिकेयर वेजेस हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ओके नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स फाइव यानी इस पे कितना वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव यानी वन थाउजेंड फोर फिफ्टी समझ गए भाई परसेंटेज है बस सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट इस पे बॉक्स फोर इज सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स थ्री बॉक्स सिक्स इज वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट ऑफ बॉक्स फाइव तो ये याद रख लें नहीं तो इन नोट्स आल्सो इफ यू वांट यू कैन जस्ट पुट द बॉक्सेस बॉक्स वन ऐसा यू नो ऐसा डाल सकते हैं आप डब बॉक्स वन यू नो बॉक्स थ्री बॉक्स फाइव बॉक्स टू बॉक्स फोर एंड देन बॉक्स सिक्स सो दिस इज लाइक यू नो सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट दिस इज लाइक वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट दैट टेन परसेंट That was just an example. Main is this six point two percent, and then one point four five percent. Okay. Now next, Ata, they go social security tips, allocated tips. Somebody who is in uh, restaurant business. <laughs> so, if any of our clients are watching us from US. I miss the cheesecake factory. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so tips, the tip income, okay, and then comes dependent care benefits. Dependent care benefits, okay. Uh, dependent care benefits in the sense, you know, in case you have kids, you have your parents or your in-laws or anybody, you know, whom you are taking care. and the employer is giving you dependent care okay now let's say uh i mean there are many single mothers right they couldn't survive their marriage and uh, they brought the uh, son or daughter you know facing all the challenges of the life uh let's say son okay so the son grew up now mother is old mother needs attention medical attention and all and uh, son is a meritorious student because of his hard work and mother's love care support encouragement and all now son gets a wonderful job bill gates is impressed <laughs> his it wizard bill gates is impressed and bill gates offers him a job story and it is true also with some people my story what i am telling you now has been true in some people's life so the employer says uh, uh, you know you are selected congratulations this is your salary 100000 dollars as a fresher welcome welcome to microsoft but uh, our uh, hero says uh, no no my mom is important for me i cannot leave her and uh, it will be difficult for her uh, if i go to office who will take care of me at least here you know my uncle aunt i, I live with joint family here you know there's somebody to take care so mr gates says uh, don't worry that shouldn't be a concern at all you just come to office 
and as much as possible i'll try to give you work from home also given these pandemic times and even after that also you know she will settle down and uh, we will arrange a medical attendant also for your mom or some housekeeping or caretaker for your mom who will be with your mom 24 hours and we will put uh, you know the cctv cameras so that you can see your mom all the time when you're working we will put the video conferencing facility you can talk to her you know in the break time sip coffee a, a coffee along with her and you think is a wonderful employer <laughs> i wish you know all the employers were wonderful human beings also we are trying to be one <laughs> i believe we are one anyways uh so any expenses you know that the employer is incurring for the care of his employees that is called dependent care benefit dependent care benefit so that is one example now the second example is like husband and wife both are amazing performers amazing performers okay and they have skyrocketed the business in the company and uh, now they are blessed with a chintu <laughs> Let's see. Okay, one year wife has been at home and uh, was taking care of the child. Okay, they thought one more year. Employer was thinking, you know, one more year. One says two years she'll come back to work, and uh, uh, she says, you know, it's U.S. We cannot hire nanny and all. There's nobody to take care. So employer says, say it's a eight hour or nine hour job, nine hours job. So even if you are putting him or her in preschool, preschool, let's say, okay, so two and a half years or three years, okay, ideal age to put in a nursery or whatever, kindergarten, play school, जो भी बोलो तो, you know, anyways, putting in that, we will arrange a nanny or somebody, you know, to take care of the baby. आप आ जाइए. At the end of the day, you are working for your kid's future. Even now, as you are sitting and studying, you are either doing it for your parent, for your spouse. or for your kid yeah or to prove that idiot who said you cannot do anything you are like this you will never achieve this is your fate right you have to prove that idiot that you are not that you should say i do it idiot i do it okay so whatever employer pays to that person that is called dependent care benefits so let's say dependent care benefits are some 5000 dollars then comes non qualified plans you know 12 box number 12 is reimbursements then statutory employee retirement plan third party sick pay uh in this statutory uh, employee not that important uh but uh, you know statutory employee we can say like uh, uh you know somebody who is appointed only for a particular purpose i mean he will work only for that company and it is mainly applicable you know to the car drivers uh and all that but not that uh, uh, important here now retirement plan i will tell you retirement plan um see employer will also be caring for his employees so just like you know pf or whatsoever how we have here similarly in us also you have something called as 401k what is that 401k 401k retirement can you refresh that 401k retirement plans okay so wherein the contribution is made by the employer as well as the employee both make the contributions and that is for the retirement and when you retire disease or death you know disabled that time you can take the money for a one k so that is this retirement plan okay then comes third party sick pay it's like employer taking some insurance is taking the insurance and people who work in this coal mines right uh, pharmaceutical companies or uh, people who make uh, Ther thermals you know, or uh, uh, pharmaceutical items or uh, bulbs electricity electrical equipments also uh, the factory and all it's going to be completely different so the kind of vapor that they inhale is not good for them and all i mean 
yeah people who work in mines or in the um pharmaceutical companies when in the research r and d is more they will know it better okay they have a different uh, dress code uniform whatsoever okay so those people in case they get sick then a third party pays them the pay right that is called third party pay the pay when the person is sick right third party sick pay then box 12 it has some codes i will show you those codes okay like uh, uh, you get the stock options from the employer and in case you are relocating from one location to another uh, employer gives you some allowances yeah all those things will come in box number 12 and then 14 13 is uh, okay retirement plan third party sick pay 14 is other income any foreign income or whatsoever so 1 to 14 is this guys yeah just take a look take a look at the form at the boxes on your phone or on your laptop whatever just pull out the w2 and uh, try to see this and if possible just take a snapshot of this so that you know once you get your mcq's uh, copy these forms also you know you can take a printout of these forms and try to scribble it or just take a screenshot of this keep it on your desktop U.S. taxation is a wonderful, wonderful area. Chadu ko ale gani meru manchi ha. Chala bounder. Bhot achha rehte aap log. Try to achieve, you know, excellence, not perfection in the subject. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is W2 and here you see these uh, boxes 15, okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay. Now you see your box number 15, 15 hai box number, right, Yaan pe we will be writing the state abbreviations. All these were federal federal okay now here we will be writing the state abbreviations yani kya hai uh, we will write uh, let's say ca kya hai ca <laughs> what is ca california okay then you write the ca state id number jo bhi hai and then let's say the person was residing in two states so while he was in california he made 60000 dollars of income and let's say you know 5% tax rate in California, so $3,000. Now, is California subject to city or county taxes? No, because KMNOP, right? You remember states which are subject to city taxes KMNOP, Kentucky, Michigan, New York, Ohio, and then Pennsylvania. And is it subject to county taxes? No, I, I am Indiana, Iowa and then Maryland. So, local tax, it means city tax and then county tax. City tax and then county tax. So, this we will not have anything. CA. Okay. Sir, but box one is 100,000, no? Yes, right. He has worked in other state. Okay. So, let's say PA. 
PA Pennsylvania Pennsylvania okay so there he worked and in that state he earned 40,000 let's say 5% tax 2,000 now is PA subject to local taxes what type of local tax city very good okay KMNOP P is that let's say Philadelphia yeah now 40,000 normally you know 1% tax will be there so let's say 400 dollars and here in locality name we say Philadelphia Philly okay box 1 to box number 20 go through once around take a screenshot if possible try to hypnotize the form <laughs> yeah okay so can i take this off <clears throat> can i take this off no see this w2 this w2 is of three types on one w2 is of three types three types of w2 okay one don't write anything first listen regular w2 next you have corrected w2 and then you have substitute w2 okay na? now regular w2 and the same form w2 what we just saw now corrected w2 i'll show you that form that is form w2 c now let's say somebody made a mistake okay instead of uh, nanda kumar he put nanda gopal let's say nanda kishore or instead of 100000 he put 120000 140000 you know something like that have uh, glass 140000 and uh, you know some mistakes here and there a name is incorrect address is incorrect or some numbers are incorrect you know all those things so form w2 form w2 c and then substitute w2 form 4852 okay see generally the due dates by which you know all these w2s must be issued is jan 31st i mean this is also immediately i mean whenever the request is made you know the uh, i would say uh, immediately or shortly okay now in that i'll tell you see when you are request the employer employer should try to give you as immediate as possible okay so now substitute w2 uh, let me tell you the story so now because the tax year uh, is jan to december okay now we are doing december uh, i mean 2019 taxes right so jan 1st to december 31st 2019 okay this is the tax year now when do you file when do you expect the w2 by jan 31st 2020 now what is jan month i mean for festivals what is the month of jan famous for especially in south india yeah harvest harvest time sankranti right pongal time and pongal kids what is famous right <laughs> right kites <laughs> now let's say your chintu was asking you daddy you know kites and then you say no i'm not going to buy the kites no no one somebody you know fell off from the terrace and uh, somebody you know that manja cut the fingers all you know dad's how they say <laughs> even my dad was also like that and uh, go first complete your homework then do you know all these things and bichara he has been uh, requesting you know day one from bogi time he's requesting bogi sankranti makar sankranti then mat pongal you know all that jelly cut today this fellow decided no Today, I am not going to leave. What is that uh, dialogue? Super 30. Apatti mein avishkar pehna hota hai, right? 
<laughs> so he sees the W2 there. <laughs> that is W2 is in the file. That's the only paper he sees. And he takes the W2 neatly. <laughs> he goes to bathroom, take the proper sticks from the broomstick, and he makes a decent kite. <laughs> own creativity, own creativity. <laughs> My brother used to make kites for us, so <laughs> I'm sure you know some of you watching must be must have made the kites in the childhood. And if you have not flown a kite anytime, boy or girl, girl, okay, boy, maybe your childhood was not that great. <laughs> you should participate, you know, especially 80s, 90s generation. All those games, you know, the marbles, gilly and um, you know, the cricket, you know, kites, all these were like fancy. So, if you have not played them, I'm, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> so, this Chintu, you know, he has started flying the kites and Patangami, uh, Gai! Manja Daddy didn't buy Manja. Vichara, he was, trying, he was uh, uh, happy making a kite and it flew also, you know, with the uh, machine. Garpe mummy, you button ye wo silane, silane ke liye lagate na da garpe. To usme bana liya bacha bhi. He used all the fevicol, you know, and all properly. He made the kite. He flew the kite with the, you know, that uh, regular thread, you know, that we used to stitch buttons and all. And koi paint na liya gay khatam. Now. Dad is wondering where is W2. <laughs> he cannot ask the employer for corrected W2 also. Kya bolta abhi jaake? W2 is such an important thing. You cannot save the W2. How will you save the company under unko employer? <laughs> employer aisa bol diya samjho. You cannot save the W2. How can you save the company? Uh, he is afraid. He don't want to go to employer ask for a new copy. But actually you can go to employer and ask for a new copy of W2. That is always there. Now, in case employer says, you know, or this incident happened, you know, after the person left the company. This story, scenarios. Okay, after the person left the company, this scenario happened, and जब छोड़ दिया company boss को दे दिया पूरा, हाँ, तुम ऐसा company है, तुम फालतू company है, ये वो दर 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 धड़ल, okay, all this he has given to the boss. Now with what face he will go and ask for W2. <laughs> so he doesn't want to go. So then what the law says is in that case, you can prepare your own W2. That is called substitute W2. Now how do we prepare our own W2? It is possible with the help of, uh, you know, every month you get the salary credit, right? You must have got the pay slips and all. So you know all the deductions and all. So using your pay slips, using the credits that happened in your uh, bank statement, using that you will be able to prepare a substitute W2 W on form 4A5. Is this clear? Okay. So this we will write self prepare. Can you please drop this chart? Yeah. W2 three times. Zoom jema kuch. W2 three times. Regular, corrected, substitute. Next, num number two, uh, number one, chapter number one was gross income. Now, chapter two, you say wage income. Chapter 2, wage income. Chapter 1 was gross income and we listed all the different types of gross incomes there. Now, chapter 2 is wage income. Now, wage income, will you please write W2 and then I think you wrote that uh, social security, Medicare thing also, local tax also. Yeah. Now, please write this.
ओके कृष्ण कृष्ण पिंग वेज इनकम इज सिक्सटी प्लस फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड के बट टैक्सेस आल्सो नीड्स टू मैच नो मैन नॉट नेसेसरी बिकॉज uh there are federal taxes there are three types of taxes here on the w2 also there are three types of taxes what are the taxes three or uh, we can say five types of taxes actually five types of taxes what are they what are the five types of taxes that you see okay let me write here okay uh federal right you see the federal tax then you see the social security tax you see the medicare tax you see the state tax and then you see the local tax in the tax will get there but the adesh man to bow the itna tax badte isliye wo desh itna acha hai apne paas electricity bill ke liye aaye to bhi maarte thode jagah mein right anyways फिर भी मेरा भारत महान नाउ फेडरल टैक्स सोशल सिक्योरिटी टैक्स नाउ फेडरल टैक्स इज समथिंग दैट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय द आईआरएस या दैट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड एंड टेक चूज करने देवर इट इज अंडर द अथॉरिटी ऑफ आईआरएस फेडरल टैक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज बाय द आईआरएस नाउ सोशल सिक्योरिटी एंड मेडिकेयर टैक्स दिस इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय एसएसए सोशल सिक्योरिटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड देन स्टेट टैक्स बाई दी कंसर्न स्टेट ओनली रेस्पेक्टिव स्टेट एंड देन लोकल टैक्स अगेन बाई दी लोकैलिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टेट और स्कूल डिस्ट्रिक्ट और यू नो वॉट एवर सो ऑल आर डिफरेंट आर नी नॉट मैच ओके आई बिलीव यू अंडरस्टूड या because i am always getting believe so no hopes that you have not understood so i believe that you understood okay are you enjoying the learning are you enjoying the learning yeah maybe you are so much enjoying that i can feel you right before me <laughs> i am able to empathize okay now Okay, we will just come here and uh, just try to type what all can somebody receive from the employer, sir. Titlu untai sir. Taane parte sir, roj. Ham taane sunte. Taane sunte, taare bhi dekte aap. But what all emoluments? कॉम्पनसेशन के हिसाब से एम्प्लॉयर से क्या क्या लेते हैं आप वॉट ऑल डू यू रिसीव इन एमोल्यूमेंट और इन कॉम्पनसेशन वॉट्स एवर ओके प्लीज टाइप ओके शेयर जीता मुद्दा अब तनख नहीं चाहिए सैलरी डाले सैलरी उद्धन को shares bonuses <laughs> commission okay share in profits very good hikes bonuses incentives wonderful <laughs> retirement benefits insurance reimbursements very good hourly commission na babe <laughs> अवरली कमीशन वेरी नाइस आलसी चलो भाई एम्प्लॉयर एम से क्या देता भाई एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉयर से क्या क्या ले सकते सोचो ठीक है आगे ना मी माई कन्वेन्स फुड अलोवेन्स मी वा ओके पार्टीज कंपनी आउटिंग्स राइट गुड यस वेरी गुड पिल मुंगट उंटे रप रप रेस्प Anyways, maybe you know your thought process just uh, just stopped by these things. Okay, 
maybe even you didn't expect you know in gross income we will write uh, so many more para so we wrote almost like some 30 28 something okay <clears throat> So alphabets are also existed. Yeah, we have so many options. You know, in the gross income also, tips. Yeah, yearly travel expense reimbursement. Yeah, leave, <laughs> leave it. <laughs> Good. Chalo, I'll tell you. You know what all comes in W two. I mean, what all will be considered as income from employment. Income from employment is not just restricted to salaries. Okay. वो छोड़ के बहुत सारे हैं income from employment. Okay. तो promotions <laughs> good promotions dependent care benefit mm. on time salary <laughs> very good nice very good holiday compensation nice <laughs> okay so all these come from employer whatever you have typed in Make a Bahubali promise that once I become employer, I will give all this to my employees. Chain laptop me jaybe tennis. Hat rakna system pe ya mobile pe. Bolna ke God make me ye. And once I succeed and once I become an employer, I will give all this to my employees. <laughs> God gives things only to those persons who can give to others. What's the status, girl? That's a fact. That's a fact. Ever the grundo, while the grunche man pond ko velam. Jiske pas hai, usi ke pas se apn le sakte. You have a problem. You need some ten thousand now. Who will you call? Jiske pas pocket bhi hai, pocket hai, aur aur pocket ke piche zara dil bhi hai, right? <laughs> so only that person will come to your mind. तो आपके पास दिल दिमाग सलामत रखें आप और दुनिया आपकी मुट्ठी में रहे ओके सो ऑल द बेस्ट आमीन बोल लेना चलो लेट्स राइट पुट द हेडिंग इनकम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट इनकम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लिस्ट यू नो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट इनकम्स दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयमेंट No, the same in this chapter. On chapter two, wage income only. In that, wage income means what? Income from employment. Okay, so put the heading. Income from employment. So in income from employment, we will write the points. Okay, points. क्या क्या आ सकता है income from employment from employer. Okay, what all can we get? First one, wages. Wages or salaries. First one is. Wages or salaries. Next, next one. Bonus. Next point. Okay, points. Points. के हिसाब से लिखना. Okay. First one, wages and salaries. Next one is zoom out somewhere. Just cover both of us. Wages and salaries. Next one, you write bonus. Incentives or commissions. Bonus, incentives or commissions. Next, employee benefits or fringe benefits. Employee benefits or fringe benefits. Fringe, F R I N G E. Even in your B Com, you must have learned perquisites, right? and they give car car uh, house and furnished accommodation they give or you can write uh, employee benefits fringe benefits or you write d minimis 
de minimis. Okay, D E M I N I M I S. Now, next one is, uh, next one we will write parking allowance, parking allowance, parking allowance. Now, in some companies, that is, I mean, if you take the, uh, what do you call, taking the office outside, uh, I mean, renting a workstation or I mean, a virtual office or something like that. Uh, co-working space, you know, you're trying to take a co-working space outside. Um, I mean, for that space, you have to pay the rent. And on top of that uh, co-working space, uh, even for the parking also, they will charge you. You have a two-wheeler, for the parking cost will be different. Then you have a four-wheeler, the parking cost will be different. Or if you have a Harley or a Triumph, you cannot keep it uh, in the two wheeler thing right you can take i mean i have seen that yeah so people will take a at least a chota car smart car with a parking space and they will park the bike there okay so something like that so next one is parking allowance okay brackets you write brackets you write in green color i would say please write in green color up to parking allowance my brackets you write up to 265 dollars per month up to 265 dollars per month regular color is exempt is exempt 265 dollars per month is exempt next next one we will write next prizes or rewards or awards prizes or rewards or awards and recognition. Prizes or rewards or awards or recognition. Prizes or rewards. Prizes, not prices. P R I Z D S. Prizes or rewards or awards or recognition. Now, this may two bullet points. Lagao. Is made two sub bullet points. Liko prizes or rewards or awards or recognition. Now, in this, you have two sub bullet points. Okay, the first sub bullet point you write Abhi employer award dene ke baad abhi uspe bhi tax hai bole to zara dar do ta na. So, what the law says here is exempt, exempt first, first point, first sub bullet point. Please write exempt green color up to sixteen hundred dollars. These amounts are important, boys. Okay, girls. Amounts are important. Okay, good to wait call. Only until the time you pass the examination. Bad me. Jai Google. Jai Google. Okay. So exempt up to green color sixteen hundred dollars. Regular color. For, for, again green color, again green color, 
क्वालिफाइड प्लांट्स क्वालिफाइड प्लांट्स क्वालिफाइड प्लांट्स ना नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट सब बुलेट पॉइंट एग्जाम टप टू एग्जाम टप टू रेड कलर में यू राइट फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर्स फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर्स रेगुलर कलर फॉर फॉर अगेन रेड कलर नॉन क्वालिफाइड प्लांट्स नॉन क्वालिफाइड प्लांट्स See sometimes uh, company may say you know you get this much sales, uh, this much revenue. This is going to be the bonus. Now, not everyone can be in sales. Okay. Now you may be somebody who is excellent in research work. or you may be somebody who is excellent in designing work in presentation mis reporting you may be somebody who is wonderful in building the crm yeah uh, monitoring the website traffic or somebody who is uh, excellent in digital marketing and all yeah i mean each one has their own strengths somebody may be a crowd puller you are doing an event and you talk you know people will come we used to do events in colleges and all i mean we had team you know we used to talk and they used to come crowd pullers you know they can get the attention easily i mean each one in the team you know has their own uh, strengths everybody was not bheem in pandavas bhima and everybody was not arjuna also yeah everybody had their own uh, strengths weaknesses and all so that's how we even here also okay qualified plan uh could be for different now non qualified plan will be different okay but for each one of them there must be a reward based on the kras that they said right next allowances next main point main point allowances food housing brackets you right food food housing etc allowances food housing etc next See whether uh, you are an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. I mean, some practicing chartered accountants are also there. Uh, people who are CPAs also who are watching us, uh, or freshers or whosoever. You know, uh, we believe in Jesus. Okay, um, in Christianity, there is something called as tight, tight. so what it means is uh, 10% of your income you are uh, supposed to give to god godly purposes or you know godly priests and all 10% so now what i also tell you know to my students uh, even in you know islam also when they slaughter the goat you know i mean bakrid ke time pe a good muslim or person who abides by the law uh that's put in quran and all he is supposed to give he is supposed to share that meat share the meat okay you are supposed to share you cannot keep it yourself even in our indian festivals also when you do i mean good old days yeah pindimantalu you know all those uh, homemade dishes that you do you don't keep it for yourself you give it to your relatives you give it to your friends you give it to your neighbors now everything is you know ready made they are not doing at home and given the busy schedule and all everybody is occupied but uh, mother times or grandmother times people used to prepare everything in house and they used to share okay 
So the point that I was trying to make is coming back to tithes. Okay. So 10% we invest, I mean, every month we are supposed to give to God. Okay. All for godly purposes. I say <clears throat> that every year, 10% of your income must go to your education. Leaders are readers. Into it. Leaders are readers. You want to earn, then you have to learn. When slogans go, they're real. I mean, person like Bill Gates, if he's reading 50 books in a year, I mean, who are we? Warren Buffett. Five, six hours, he will just study under Warren Buffett. I mean, they're all old. We never know, you know, when God can call them home. But even at this age, they want to study. They want to protect what God has blessed them with. So how do we protect our intellect? How do we upgrade ourselves? So you have to spend some time all by yourself. You watch all the shit, all the wonderful entertainment. Then take time for yourself also. I mean, if you believe in God, spend time with the creator for some time. Learn the good values that your religious faith teaches you and try to put it in practice and bear the fruit, bear the result. So every year, you know, as an ILEAD Academy alumni and as a future enrolled agent, I urge you that you should spend at least 10% of your annual income every year, every year on education. Keep improving. There are so many things that keep coming every year. Yeah? Right? You learn the work wherever you are putting your money. Mind, make sure that you learn the art, learn the work properly. And then try to practice that, demonstrate that work at your workplace, that learning at your workplace and the results will come. Keep learning. Don't stop learning. So take a oath that every year 10% of my income. So now no income. That's an excuse. Okay. We got income from you even in this lockdown. Yes. It's an opportunity for us. Yeah. We have opportunities. So you can also create opportunities for yourself. Okay. Just keep doing what you are doing faithfully. And rest all God will take care. So next point is education program assistance. Education program assistance. Brackets you write. Brackets you write. Up to. Up to dollar. Up to dollar. Green color will write. $5,250. $5,250. Regular color <coughs> is exempt. Is exempt. Is except. And as an employer, also just make sure that you know you are uh, <coughs> training your people. When you see that you know they are not uh, they are talented but they are not getting the result, it means they are not interested in their job or they are not interested in learning in upgrading. They want to rest on past glory. My konu malu, my kaisa kara malu, my kya kya kara malu. If you don't know, if you say something, you don't know, 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 you don't So keep learning, you know, your team, your uh, employees, teach them, you know, there's so much good, so many good stuff, you know, on the internet, teach them. Okay, and personally, I would suggest 
<laughs> spend at least you know like 24 minutes in a day learning something or the other something good or the other 24 minutes in a day kuch to bhi sunna when i tell you about uh, uh, the 2020 20 rule uh, did i tell them the 2020 20 rule yeah <clears throat> sunna what is this 2020 20 rule okay so i happen to go to uh, switzerland zurich and uh, do you know who this person is do you know the author of the book the monk who sold his ferrari uh there's a highly tax llc okay he is the co-founder of uh, apple steve wozniak now uh is our hero yeah <clears throat> you know this man of course it's written there robin s sharma the writer of the book the monk who sold his ferrari speaker excellent speaker on leadership and personal mastery so i was one of the students of uh, robin sharma in that summit the titan summit in 2016 now there was one thing you know that i learned now his new book you know the 5 am club that's very very popular so you can uh, buy this book or i think you can also get a e book wonderful book and uh, if you are a busy guy you get the book summary also go to youtube type the 5 am club summary okay <clears throat> these are not mad people or people who just motivate they they collect money and motivate people they have billionaires sitting in the class billionaires and a kurchuna garden company will go in the world jaha baithe hain wahi baith ke companies kareed lete wo log multi multi millionaires multi billionaires and all okay now the, here he taught us something called as 20 20 20 rule okay in your notes in the last page you know some gyan i gave this is subject eppudu undede this gyan is important for you to become a better human being better person and better worksman you are an artist created by the lord almighty artist artist okay ekkada unna dunya alante so we call this as 20 20 20 rule so what he says is the first one hour okay of the day is very very important the very first one hour after you get up that is important okay so what he says is the first hour that you get up you must exercise it means you have to do some physical activity you know exercise anangane dadan 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 avanni ga okay in lepadam ga do some physical activity wherein sweat comes from your head i mean unna degane you can uh, run uh, you can do push ups sit ups right ab crunches mountain climbers squats planks chalu ne body weight exercise on google lo vorte meeru you will get to see and uh, i think if you go to my facebook page i made a and the in my personal you know nandakumar kb uh, video section we came up with something called as sams sams uh, me and my daughter we did this you know for the few lockdown exercises you know p is for push ups or plank s is for squats utak baitak a is for your ab crunches then l could be your leg raises leg raises or lunges also then m is for mountain climbers okay watch that video to see what that is okay and s is scissors okay kaala to netle itla nanu so all these are some body weight exercises okay urke na sofa la kurchoni popcorn lo potato chips ante idi kuda right so it becomes difficult so try to exercise we can at least control i mean see did a grandfather times or you know dad times did they see 20 year old 30 year old dying of heart attack and all now we see so many people die of heart attack 
ఎగ్జామ్ ఫెయిల్ అయితే హార్ట్ అటాక్ లవ్ లో ఫెయిల్ అయితే హార్ట్ అటాక్ బాస్ పీకేస్తే హార్ట్ అటాక్ ఐ మీన్ దేస్ ఐ మీన్ కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ ఆన్సర్ గేట్ హార్ట్ అటాక్ గూగుల్ ఇట్ యూ విల్ సి యూ విల్ సి మై సిస్టర్ ఇన్ లా ఇస్ ఆల్సో డాట్ డాక్టర్ ఇన్ కిమ్స్ వీ గెట్ టు హియర్ యూ నో సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ అబౌట్ all these things so what he says is the first 20 minutes and the first one hour is important this is the first one hour okay so first 20 minutes of the day you must exercise antara man he says exercise first 20 minutes no matter what you have to exercise i mean once me fresh i your fresh up and you had your little snacks chai jo bhi hai then you got to go to gym or your you know space where you have your uh, where you can do a little physical activity you know all this whatever i have told or you know your own exercises the, but the point is the sweat should come from head so when the sweat comes from head it releases something called as bdnf brain derived neurotropic factor your cells will be very active you will work less time but you will be very very productive very very productive anar ji sir abraham lincoln abraham lincoln he said if you give me 6 hours to chop a tree i will be sharpening my axe 4 hours an anar 6 hours is the anta he used to sit and sharpen the axe 4 hours anta pitch and peyadu aina kan peyale and can abraham lincoln he said okay so first 20 minutes you got to exercise and the sweat should come out of your head and next 20 minutes he says learn learn or listen i mean spend you know time on something wherein you listen to something that is good you learn something good 20 minutes and uh, in our childhood you know when mom and dad used to get up they used to play venkateshwar superbatham or they used to listen to the news all that is good but now for our regular regular day what is the daily food that we receive the inner man what is the inner man receiving what is the mind man what is the soul man receiving what is the spirit man receiving even unnai <laughs> whatever be the faith the inner man is there how are what are you feeding your inner man with that one ni burra ki ni atma ki what are you feeding that is important and then the last 20 minutes he says plan journal entered on but plan your day what are you going to do today that meeting this meeting that call this email okay that presentation this conversation eduna plan is gone it worked for me i still do it i still do it and i encourage you to do it 20 20 20 rule one of the uh, i mean most uh, hot sellers in the 15 million copies are sold okay anyways as a student na came commission rad bhai mer konna gonak pena na farak padu it doesn't matter to me but it's a wonderful book you know so i very strongly recommend that you buy the book read it and please make you know reading a habit if you are reading some religious book of your faith wonderful i think all knowledge you know treasures are uh, hidden in that but still besides that see religious books they tell us what to do what not to do but leaders experts they tell us how to do how to do okay so that was 20 20 20 rule chalo we were on education program assistance okay up to 5250 dollars excluded and then we'll just write these points and we will close then retirement benefits retirement benefits is also an income from the employer retirement benefits next stock options stock options stock options stock options okay see as an employee you must try to get salary your bonus incentive profit sharing and all and then you should also have equity in the company as you grow over oh, salary salary 10% hike 15% hike dantlene saavadu 
you should you sh your mind should not be restricted only to that i mean you should have a share in the revenues i mean talk to your boss in such a way and be that in the company that you bring the revenue to the company whosoever see in the entire p and l account there is only one influencer what is that there is only one influencer in the entire p and l account who is that sales sales rest all are overheads p and l account this book edana you everything will be expense only only sales so whatever you do whatever crap you do you have to produce revenue family lo ena even in your family you got to earn income yeah daddy car we want daddy house we want ana idi kavali that we want we want everything where does it come from dudu kavali right revenue revenue matters Re not money revenue matters wealth not income wealth wealth matters okay so try to learn sales sales wherever you are so when you are growing don't just restrict to salary have a performance linked pay chapuni boss ki in the revenue is 5% is sara 10% is sara can i have a 5% stake in the revenue can i have a 10% stake in the revenue okay if i do this the same can i get some shares you know when i retire that's what is stock options that's what is stock option how do you think you know the big companies like infosys i mean people who are working in us taxation don't you see people getting stock shares and all incentive stock options employee stock option plan and the kisar why do you think they give they want to retain the employee inke venen batko votadu the talent would be hand picked by somebody so how do you retain that employee by giving him the right pay the best pay that you can handle that fellow's ego and you keep and if you are a productive employee and not just a you know talking employee uh, grumbling complaining mourning weeping yeah gossiping employee stop all those idiotic things less talk more output jo bhi hai din le upi funny <laughs> output should speak parvatan so employee stock options next insurance insurance all these are income from employment insurance or third party sick pay or third party sick pay next compensation compensation in case of injuries or sickness compensation in case of injuries or sickness next dependent care benefits next is dependent care benefits i think we i explained you know what is dependent care benefits we learned right yeah dependent care benefits in brackets you write in brackets you write in green color in green color please write up to up to Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for MFJ. MFJ and red color. You write red color. You write two thousand five hundred dollars for MFS. Two thousand five hundred 
$2,500 for MFS. Mali green color. Again green color. Is exempt. Is exempt. Next. Reimbursement for moving expense. Reimbursements for moving expenses. So, you know, in case you get a job, you know, let's say Gurgaon or somewhere or PWC Kolkata, EY Bangalore or EY Coaching, whatever. Uh, you can always negotiate, you know, you feel that need. Big four guy, anybody is watching here. <laughs> I'm not teaching them salary negotiation. But uh, I think, you know, the students are able, so they deserve it. So you must be able to, you know, negotiate that with your prospective employer. You must be able to ask them. And to move from Hyderabad to Gurgaon, Hyderabad to Kolkata, how much it will cost us, right? <laughs> so you have to, you have to talk and negotiate that with your employer. So reimbursement for moving expenses, moving from one place to another place for work purposes. Huh? Then work expense reimbursements. Work expense reimbursements. I mean, in my article ship days, you know, we used to have the bank audits and all. Your bank audits, which is the pandage. Festival for us when there is bank audits. You know, we used to go and uh, get all royal treatment, <laughs> royal food. <laughs> The bigger the bank, the nice meal we would have. We would have. You know, after lunch we don't feel like working on. So we used to postpone the work till 3:30, 4 o'clock, and then 4 o'clock we used to go for lunch. You know, so that we can log. Of course, we used to start at 9:30. 9:30 to 6:30 used to be. So 45 minutes used to.